Okay, so I did, just to catch you guys up, I did play this game for like probably like 10, maybe 10 minutes. Um, Story-wise, you really don't know what's going on. Your original ship got destroyed and you ended up shipwrecked um, on the edge of a town. Scandalous. And basically what happened was they gave you a new boat because your old boat was like destroyed beyond belief. And they're like, hey, uh, we want you to do some fishing since you're a fisherman. We're going to give you this like boat um, and then you can basically catch fish and then take care of the town. And when you come back and sell fish, um, we can like slowly pay off your boat. Uh, so I did pay off my boat and there's just like a leveling system where you can like upgrade your boat to catch better fish and then explore the world. But this game has like Cthulhu undertones. I don't think it's a straight up horror game. Well, I guess we'll find out, but it has spooky themes and like spooky vibes to it. So it's just like a chill fishing mini game with, with some extra spookiness to it. Um, I know St. Luf played it a bunch and was really impressed with it. I know he enjoyed it. Um, and I know Jess Playin, I think, really enjoyed it as well. So this was kind of like my off stream chill game that I was going to play, but I have literally nothing else planned until Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out. So we're going to let's catch some fish uh, and uh, yeah. see if we can catch Cthulhu. All right, so the mayor, the mayor has something to say to us. Uh, just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Litter Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Um, sure. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Okay. Well, I guess we should probably just go deliver that now. I've been in meetings, the game variety every time I've looked over has been wild. Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> have been rather indecisive today. We'll, we'll call it that much. Alright, I'm assuming that this is Little Marrow. I haven't actually been here yet. Yeah, he said it was east, so it's gotta be. <laughs> uh, delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Hmm. Nice and fresh. This will do nicely. Uh, I'm to pay you, I suppose. 25 whole dollars. Oh, I can update the game. Uh, it's called Dredge Oned. Good, good call. Hmm. Uh, I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. Sustainable fishing added to cabin. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Okay. Yo, dock worker is trying to get it in. Uh, you enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Ah. Hello? Is that? No. Ah, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you have. Mm, I don't have anything, dude. Alright, let's get some fish. 
And I think we're not supposed to stay out at night. Uh, because I think we have some type of sanity meter. I think we'll go insane. Uh, if we, if we go out too far or stay out too late at night. He's, uh, peering. Ah! He appears to be interested in us. But all of the fish are, like, different sizes, so it's also, like, a Resident Evil 4 briefcase minigame to fit them into your cargo hold. Actually, hang on. I wanted to read the... Um... The book about sustainable fishing. Select an active book, pass the time to read it? Um, well, I don't want to read it out in open water. Maybe I can read it while I'm, like, next to the dock? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I'm just reading it, like, passively? Like, as I played the game? Because it's already at 2%. I haven't done anything yet. Okay. Can I sell the trader fish? No, I cannot. Um. So I have a choice to make. I can stay, I can sleep through the night. But the fish will go bad, so I prob uh, it'll probably go bad. And, like, the longer you wait to turn on the fish, the less fresh they are. Um, or I can try to sail through the night to the other town and then make some more money. Yeah, let's get killed. I want to see some Cthulhu cars. All right, let's get killed. We'll sail through the night. I'm also curious if you catch different fish at night. What the hell? Oh, we got an arrow squid? Oh. We got different kind of weird fish out at night, I guess. There's just a random pillar in the distance. Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. I'm sure panicking is fine. I'm not worried about it. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, wait, what was the type of fish that you wanted? You wanted a gray eel. Okay, we haven't found a gray eel yet. And then we can sell all of our fish. We got some more money. Take a nap. Big fan of panicking, yeah. Panique! <laughs> I will say, this is a very cozy game so far. I, I love the art style. Just like looking like the the sky itself is so beautifully drawn. It's ridiculous. I'm also half tempted to go insane just to see what'll happen to our character. Like I'm I'm very curious.
You know, I should probably, uh, I should probably not be fishing in places that have low, like, low, um, like, if I find a pool that has, like, a, a low population of fish, I probably should not actually deplete it. I don't know. All right, we do not have the right equipment for oceanic exploration. Goes so insane, he starts trying to murder civilians sinking their Cthulhu, yeah. I'm fully expecting a crazy plot twist where either, like, all of this is made up, or I'm Cthulhu, or the mayor's Cthulhu, or, like, the ocean is Cthulhu. No, yeah, I beat it, Ken. I beat it. I beat it. It was really easy. Uh, feel free to add me to the website. Uh, and my source, my, don't feel, don't need to check the VOD. My source is just trust me, bro. Yeah, I gotta check myself for tentacles. We do the, like, green hell check your body thing. <laughs> but just check for tentacles. Blue mackerel. This is not really the type of fish I'm interested in catching. All right, what we got over here? We got a little town. Can I dock at this? It's not really a town. It's like a house. Blackstone Isle. Ruined mansion and a workshop. Yeah, this is a great this is a great game to to have a cup of coffee to for sure. Um, the door is locked. Can I kick it open? Um, the workshop looks like it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. Well, all right then. I guess we have nothing to do here. I was really hoping to get murdered today, Chad. I was really hoping I was going to get murdered today. Alright, I think we gotta just- we gotta save up money and get better equipment. Honestly. Did I finish reading that book? I'm 73% done with reading it. We got a message in a bottle. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck... The front of the boat, it did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around, and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern. But we believe all important articles are accounted for. Uh, he's been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Alright, well, we gotta hightail it back home, because it is late at night, and we are out in open water. Oh, that's some heavy fog. Oh, that's some heavy fog right there. We're panicking. We're definitely we're we're definitely panicking. <laughs> well, I've already killed a character. Maybe this is like the Oregon Trail. But boat edition. Squid rises from the depths at night to feed or be fed upon. Mm. 
Uh, I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. So is it like, I feel like the books... I'm wondering if the books just give us, like, game advice or if they actually, like, make our character better somehow from reading them. Rods, reels, and rigs. We'll have to remember to switch books later. Uh, it's a mess in here. I've just been so busy lately. You know how it is exhausting. All right, so I want to... Oh, yo, we have just enough money to buy this. Um... Hang on a second. Did I add that to storage? Oh, I did, okay. Um. So I can send that to storage and then can I move the fishing rod? Over? Okay, and now we should be able to put the hydraulic rod right here. So I think this is going to let us catch, like, way bigger fish. Although I think I screwed up. Are we going to need... what? Okay, what type of fishing rods do we have? We have a weighted line. Oh, no. These are things that we can buy. Um, oh, no. Because that is actually a fishing rod itself. I, I was thinking that we'd have to combine the hydraulics with a fishing rod, but that should just let us catch fish in, like, super deep water. Alright, so let's take a nap and then go out to, like, open ocean. Let's go get killed. Yo, Adino, welcome on in. No, this is not Stiltfella. We've actually... We've said goodbye to Stiltfella, Adino. We're, we're retiring from Stiltfella. At least until they roll out new content. But I think I'm... I'm pretty happy with the progress that I made in that game. Oh, so we do get basic bonuses. Oh, we do get basic bonuses. Okay, we get bonuses for re reading these books. 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Cool. All right, so we'll start reading this book now. Thank God. Yo, Ducky, retired from Stiltfella, who are you? Um, This, you might, I don't know, you might like this game, actually, Hot Dish. It's not a straight-up horror game, but it's got, like, spooky Cthulhu, spooky Cthulhu vibes. But you're a, you're a fisherman who's washed up um, on the shore of a village, and you don't know who you are, and your original boat got destroyed. So they basically loaned you a boat, and were like, hey... Uh, we're gonna let you fish, and, like, a small percentage of the fish that you catch and sell are gonna go back to improving the town, and you can, like, slowly pay off the boat and pay us back. Uh, but there's, like, a Cthulhu horror theme to it. The artwork is insane. I love... I love the graphics of the game. Um, so yeah, it's, uh... I've been really enjoying it so far. It's a nice little... It's like a nice crossroad between cozy and spooky. You get basic bonuses, I get basic bitches, we are not the same. <laughs> okay, Dino. Okay, Dino. Yeah, this might this might be one to check out, Ducky. I don't know. It's a uh, it's been fun so far. But we've been improving our boat so we can catch bigger fish. Um, all right.
Oh, we fucked it up. Oh, we fucked it up. Uh, I caught... What is the shape of this fish? How am I supposed to fit this in my cabin? Are you shitting me? <laughs> we got a bronze whaler. I don't know if we catch another one of those. I don't know if we can even fit that in this cabin. Cave weapon and Chrono Trigger don't count. Uh, you're not the first time to check this out, so I might have to. Yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, we're gonna be brave. We're gonna go out deeper into the ocean. Catch and release? I don't know. I don't think that the fishmonger would not be happy with that. We just catch the fish, give him a little head pat, just toss him back in the ocean. Hmm, so this counts as coastal. Why does that count as deep water, but this counts as coastal? Um... Uh... There's another... No, that's definitely shallow water. I mean, when was the last time I saved? <laughs> Did we just go, like, way out of the ocean and get killed? Did we just go way out there? What a sail home. No, <laughs> we're going deeper. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, woo. How is this coastal? Bruh. Brother. I am so not coastal, I'm about to go postal. Here's a little forehead kiss. Just a little, a little smooch. Give him a little attaboy. Those are whales. I don't think I can catch those. <laughs> yeah, I hope we can catch Cthulhu eventually. If we level up enough. Dude, we're so fucked. I'm never gonna make it back home in time. The sun is already setting and we're just the middle of the ocean. We're super dead. Abyssal? Oh, oh god, okay. All right, I'm going home. I'm scared. Help! <laughs> Fucking help! <laughs> Dude, we're so dead. I'm gonna turn on our little tiny light. Something is making horrible noises over there. Come back to me, lighthouse! Catch me, bridge. I'm easy if it's you. How much can I sell you to the fishmonger for, Adino? Can I sell you for a lot of money? Yeah, welcome to the abyss. I just got a little... Oh, oceanic. Let's go. Black tip reef shark. Oh, lord. Dude, if I can ever make it back home, I bet this stuff is worth so much money. Don't panic, buddy. Don't panic. You're okay. Relax. Deep breaths. You're good. You're okay, buddy. Oh, that was lightning. Uh, the stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faintly shape, faint shapes, shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Do we touch the stone? I gotta touch the shiny rock, right? It's a horror game. What could possibly go wrong? I'm gonna have to wait until Fallout 5. All right, we're gonna touch the rock. The cold stone does not respond to my touch. I do not have the magic touch. That's big said. Oh, my lights are going out. No, brother. Can we dock at the Spooky Mansion for the night? Can we stay overnight at the Spooky Mansion? I don't remember if I can sleep here. Can I nap here? I can sleep here! Let's go! Oh, but the fish is gonna go bed. Wait, chat, the fish is gonna go bed. 
Nah, 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 nah. We're going straight home. We're going straight home. We're gonna panic and die. But we're going home. Which one is... I damaged my hull! What? How? Bruh. Alright, fine. We're gonna sleep here. I changed my mind. <laughs> the fish is gonna go bad, but we're gonna sleep here. It was a tiny rock. Come on, man. Alright. I, you know, I thought our boat was just made of stronger stuff than that, Stu, you know? I really thought. Not the black tip. Yeah, what's a little rock between friends? Alright, that fish probably went bad. I don't even know if I'm going to the right town or not. I think this is Greater Marrow. Come on, baby. Not if we kept it on ice. I don't know if we have ice. I'm not sure if ice is a concept. <laughs> In this town yet. Fisherman, have you run into a photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I have not. I suggested that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Don't overcommit yourself, especially when that sun starts going down. Better to come back with a small catch than to not come back at all. True. Alright, so we definitely got a GameStop trade-in on those fish. Oh, so if the hull gets damaged, I lose that storage section. Oh. Like, I physically lose that part of the boat. Your boat looks a bit banged up. I can repair it here if you like. Uh, yes, please. $30? For that little scratch? Come on, bro. I'm getting raked over the coals by this lady. Alright, we gotta go catch some more big fish. I do want to sleep at that mansion overnight at some point, though. Oh, no, wait, I did. I... Didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I did. Never mind. Nothing bad happened, though. I'm surprised. Uh, so we're 80% done with... Rods, reels, and rigs. And we have to... We're definitely going to find a key to that mansion at some point. Alright, so he said that a photographer went south? Do you think that she ended up on this island? I wonder. Why don't you use stilts to get across the ocean instead? I would if I could. Maybe we can get some stilt upgrades. Is there a photographer at this mansion now? No. We gotta make sure not to touch the rocks. Our poor little boat is a big baby. Who made this game? I'm actually not sure who the developer is, Adina. But I am I am a big fan so far. Alright, we're gonna try traveling south. Because that guy told us to travel south. We're gonna check out this island. I check out this island and I'll probably get killed.
Oh yeah, we're definitely dying. It's so late at night. Dude, I made such a big mistake not having a coastal fishing rod. We have found no oceanic spots at all. Just coastal or abyssal? I'm also not seeing any towns over here. Yeah, this island looks pretty abandoned. Oh, rocks. Oh, God, rocks. Okay, if we stay, if we hug the shore, nothing's gonna murder us. I can feel it in my bald. What if the shore murders me? Well, we take that L. I guess we gotta take that L. Oh, I see a fishing spot, though. This is not a fishing spot? Did I get you baited? It's freaking abyssal, dude. Okay, panic. Panic is intensifying. All panic is intensifying. Come on, face your fears. Face your fears. We'll run right at them. Come here, bucko. I'm not scared of you. I ain't scared of you. God damn it. Okay, maybe I should be slightly scared. Oh god. These shiny blue fish, though. Yo, Lissy! Lissy, welcome on in. Our character is actively losing his mind. Brother. Well, at least the sun's gonna come up soon. <laughs> so that's good. I am flat out being trolled right now, by the way. The sun came up. No, I can't get... Dude, I have no good fishing equipment. Step one, get. Step two, good. I think I think it sucks, but I think we have to go home. Oh, I can actually fish here. What? I caught a barracuda? Holy shit. I don't understand how this fishing minigame works. Oh, okay. Um. Wait, no. Shit. I can't fit. I cannot fit the Barracuda. Um. There we go. There's got to be a better way of doing this, right? Yes. Um. No? 
Maybe? There's gotta be. Maybe not. <laughs> um, alright. Let's try to get... Oh, there's something over there, though. Alright, we check this out, and then we try to go home. Yo, T! T, walk one in. Something slithers into my cargo hold? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Infect? My fish are infected? That's not good. I just need to find a place I can sleep. Can I sleep here? Please? Oh, I can dock here. Tell me I can rest. Oh, I can rest here. Okay. Let's take a nap. We gotta reset the sanity. A sickly stench rises from your cargo hold. Oh, that's not good. Laboratories in ruins with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Uh, let's inspect the equipment. There's some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to fort. Uh, you check the cupboards. Research part. Let's go. Uh, look around the floor. You look around the floor, there's cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. Uh, you slowly reach your arm into one. I wouldn't do that. Oh, I got more research parts? Oh, cook it. You pluck an item from a gouge in the floor. Um. Okay, let's increase the speed of our boat. That sounds really good. Jet drive engine? Uh, this unit propels water through the system more efficiently uh, than outboard propeller setups. So this will make us go faster. Okay. An old generator sputters and ticks over. Well, we never found the photographer that that guy was looking for, but we did almost get ourselves killed. So that's kind of a W. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right. Good luck. In, good luck in prison, Adino. So there's coastal, shallow, oceanic, abyssal, hadal, mangrove, volcanic, and crab. There's just a depth called crab. We're going to crab depth, chat. We're going straight to crab depth. Message in a bottle. Um, I've not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill, uh, which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some lines here, and they're ineligible. Or illegible. <laughs> they're ineligible to be read. Uh, while most of what they haul up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. 
Uh, the buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stares down into the open casket, then turns to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. The page has been torn off here. Letting. So is this one of those things where, like, no matter where we are, we can see the lighthouse? Is this so creepy and cozy? I'm loving it. It's so good. The writing is great, too. You know, the only thing I don't like about it is that all of my fishing rods suck. But we can fix that. I probably need to just go back to town and farm up some more small fishies. But I was very excited to test out our new oceanic fishing rod. I just haven't been able to find any regions that count as oceanic. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Um... I'm gonna throw all the infected fish away. That's- I probably should have thrown away the one infected fish. So our sanity meter going down is definitely not good, because that leads to the fish that we catch being, like, infected. We probably can't even sell it. Wait a second, why is this glowing red? do we have here? I have to be able to dredge it. Damn. Man, are we gonna go insane again? Oh, I'm just trying to make it home. Oh my god, something we can actually fish it. Black Grouper? Grouper? It's not Groper. <laughs> no, it's not Groper. <laughs> okay, we just. I'm trying to go home. I'm trying to go home. Although Hotish, I do have a- oh my god, it's a- it's a- it's another boat. Don't- do not- do not look at the other boat. It's not real. It's not real. We almost crashed on this rock. Oh god. I just want to get home. Panique! Oh, panic! That came out of nowhere. Holy shit, that came out of nowhere. Are you kidding me? I'm getting jump scared by fake rocks. What the fuck? Alright, we'll catch one more as a treat. I'm already going insane. Holy shit! Pig-like tusker protrudes from the mouth of this ravenous brute. With no eyes to speak of, it attacks indiscriminately. Okay, I'm trying to get home, dude. We made it to the lighthouse, please. It would have helped if I had my lights on. I did not realize that I was just literally sailing with no lights on. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, buddy. All 
Alright, I would like to sell my fish. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish to his face before inhaling a deep stuttering breath. Ah, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From the stomach, he pulls out a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish, patterned with delicate crimson thread. I guess I sent it to storage? Rot? Oh. So one of the fish that I had literally just rotted away. Um, what's he doing with the corrupted fish? I don't know. Nothing I want to know about. <laughs> HDGD? I'm Gucci! Oh, Hot Dish Grey Duck. I was like, what is HDGD? <laughs> uh, I'm doing good, T. I'm doing good. We might take a little break here soon so I can have a snack. Uh, a man is looking at you through a cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. <sighs> Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. Okay, I think that's the spooky mansion. I'm pretty sure that's the spooky mansion. I'll be waiting. All right, chat. Let me take let me take a quick five minute break and get something to eat and refill on water, uh, and then we will we will continue dredging the depths for spooky fish. So be be back in a minute. Un momento.
All righty. Welcome back. All right, so this guy wanted to inspect the creepy artifact. Um, I don't know, but we should have we should have access to our storage locker no matter where we dock. So we should be able to leave it in storage, and then when we go to the island, we can pull it out. Well, that was a meeting. An OMG, we're on dredge now. Well, Neela, I'm glad you survived the meeting. Uh, it's at least over now. And yes, I. I'm actually in love with this game, Neela. This is this is really, really fun. It's like a nice cross-section between, like, cozy and spooky. And, as all of you guys know, I love Ocarina of Time. And I am a simp for fishing minigames. I love me a good fishing minigame. Alright, so we gotta meet at Blackstone Isle... I have a map? Oh my god, I'm an idiot! Okay, I have a map. That's gonna make traversing a lot easier. <laughs> I literally thought I just had to eyeball all this shit. I've heard many good things, I've enjoyed watching this play too. Yeah, it's sick. I know, I remember St. Luf really enjoyed playing this one. So we have Twisted Strand, Devil Spine, Stellar Basin, and Gale Cliffs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I... Uh, the thing that's killing me is... I really want to upgrade storage. But I'm not sure what actually gets me better storage. Will I get like a bigger boat eventually? Okay, so I haven't actually found any materials yet. Ah. If you want to get a bit more out of your engines, take a look through this book. It's, it's on the house. Oh, shit! Okay. A few of the pages are stuck together. With grease. Okay, so let's buy let's buy an improved outboard engine. I think. Yeah? We can go we can go faster. Boom. We'll nap for like literally two hours. And then let's go, let's go meet this creepy dude. Let's go meet this creepy dude. Oh, this boat is, this boat is humming. Oh, I love the speed increase. Oh, this is so nice. We'll be able to get so much farther. So the thing about this game too is time only advances when you're moving. So improving ship speed very much increases like how far you can go. Uh, maybe let's fish on the way back. I guess the faster your boat goes, the more likely you're gonna smash into random shit, too. standing in a doorway. Watching your approach, he's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came, good. Allow me to introduce myself. 
I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truth, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give that handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time. This handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carries items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Okay, 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 okay. It's the name of the game. We want to do dredging. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Let's do it. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. Ask around the towns about shipwrecks and other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Okay, so my boat... My boat can actually dredge now? I'm a little confused. The collector has installed dredging equipment on my boat. Okay. So it's equipment that doesn't actually take up dock space on my boat? We actually have dredging equipment. Um, I wish I could remember where I was. I traveled to already. I swear. I think it was south. I'm pretty sure it was south. I really don't want to have to do what I did before again, though, because I literally had to sail through the night to get there. Which is not great. But there were spots that I could dredge over. Catch another fish of that type. Mm, I actually can't catch another one of these fish either, I don't think. I think they're four squares. Oh, no, I can't. Haha! -ha. All right, beautiful. Dude, look at that. Big brain. All right, I see a letter in a bottle over here. We're going to run over and grab that real quick. of the second day of the honeymoon. 
and our first day proper. Today, we're sailing around the island and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain Ocean Riches. Was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch? I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Hey, is that a is that a half stuffed picnic in your pocket? Or you're just happy to see me. Alright, let's go sell this fish before it becomes infected. Oh, we have a lot of people that want to talk to us now. <sighs> um, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rise from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Uh, who lives on Blackstone Isle? I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Uh, you approach a woman sitting on the dockside staring out to sea. She turns to you. What is it like out there? It's peaceful. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. It's not so bad here. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move? I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I, make an, I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. <laughs> just stack it up at Steel Point when you have everything. I'll pay you when the job is done. Okay, that's got to be Steel Point, I guess. Um, let me think here. You know what? Heck it. Let's do some spooky fishing. Let's do some spooky fishing. My sanity can take it. Oh, this is what the dude wanted. Okay, we got a great eel. That's huge. Massive. 
Oh, I fucked it. Okay. <laughs> I do, I do love me some fishing. It's just funny too, Neela, because it's literally like the, um, the arm wrestling minigame. <laughs> it's like if Dead by Daylight made a fishing game. Um, I don't think I can catch any more of these, can I? I put that... Ah, this hold is like so awkwardly shaped. Alright, well I'm bringing these right back to town. <clears throat> We're going right back to town. Uh, I do actually have the final fish for that order. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. Uh, this one's a little more curious. They want a couple squids and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like out here. Good luck. The annoying thing is I already caught those fish. <laughs> I just caught them in the wrong order. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I could find them again. Did I ever finish reading that book? I'm still reading the book. I'm pretty sure I was over here fishing. Aha! Okay, well, we got that. That was easy. And then the last thing was squid? The squid should not be hard to find. I'm pretty sure that was just shallows, wasn't it? Although I might need... I might need the coastal fishing rod to catch it. So... Okay, it sucks, but I think... Uh, remember, you don't have to have all the materials at once. You can store whatever you want in the dry dock. Um... I think, I think I want to take the hydraulic rod off and put it in storage for now. Just because there's, there's like, I'm just not finding anything. Um, I'm just not finding any, like, oceanic places, but there's a lot of coastal places. So I really just need to put the back, like, the basic fishing rod back on. I also want to see, so I can catch, right now I can catch uh, Coastal Shallow and Dredge. So are there any other fishing rods I could get that will help me catch something else? No. I mean, I could buy another even better engine, but I don't know if... I should probably buy some better lights, actually. That's probably a worthy investment. So if I buy the better engine, so the bad engine goes plus 14 knots, and literally the better engine will only increase it by one knot. Yeah, the nice, like, chill piano music. Oh, 
Oh, no, wait, shit. I didn't sell my fish. I gotta sell this, though. Um... I mean, like, it's spent, spending $200 to go one extra knot sounds like a scam. Unless there's something I'm not understanding about how the engines work, but... Yeah, kudos to whoever made the music for this game. It's so good. What do I want to do right now? What do I want to do right now? I think I want to... Oh, I mean, I don't know. Let's just keep catching fish. I want it to next time... So it's daytime now. But next time it's night, we have the other... The coastal fishing rod. So I should be able to... Um, I should be able to... Catch some squid. Hopefully. Alright, let's go get killed. Let's go get killed. It's a brand new day. Do some exploration. Alright, blue mackerel is not very exciting. So beautiful, yeah. You would never suspect that something horrible is happening. Oh man, I thought, dude, I, this game is trolling me. I finally find an oceanic fishing spot after I uninstall the equipment. Unreal. X to change lanes to avoid gaps? Oh! Oh, we got some lumber! Let's go! Dude, I've never been so excited to find wood. DMX would be so proud. We found the wood. SOS? Um. Hang on. We gotta rescue these people. Oh. I am saved! Oh, saved! You're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, what happened? I washed up here. Oh, it must have been some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas when a wave hit us broadside. I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have never come to find- or I thought my crew would have come to find me by now. But yours is the first ship I've pa seen pass here. Did the boys send you to looking for me? Uh, no. Oh. Well, I'm sure they're out looking anyways. Uh, can you get me to Little Marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them there when they next stop by. Um, do we take a hitchhiker and get murdered? I mean, let's do it. Okay. I'm not gonna let him die. A bed right- a- the draggled looking man covered in flies and salty sea spray. I love that we have to fit him in the ship cargo. <laughs> like, we just have him neatly stacked with, like, him, some 2x4s on top of him, and then some fucking dead fish on top of him. <laughs> like, I'm gonna make him dizzy doing this. He's probably gonna throw up. The castaway climbs aboard. Alright, let's go straight to Little Marrow. I want this guy on my ship for as little little time as possible. So he doesn't eat all of my fish. Alright, so wait, wait, wait. So Ah oh, fuck. I have a map. I need to start using my map more. Um it's up on D-pad. You don't need to access the main menu. So it's here. Oh, I can place custom markers too.
Can I actually see the flag? No, but that's okay. Okay, yeah, so it's just over here. Sweet rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you. For someone who has just been saved, he seems gloomy. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine. And I'm... I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore, for me at least. But perhaps it'll be worth something to you. He removes a signet ring from his left hand and presses it into yours. It's emblazoned with a symbol of a captain's wheel. Well, thank you. On to better horizons, friend. Farewell. Alright, this does not look like... This does not look like the ring that the collector was looking for. I'm pretty sure the ring he's looking for is going to be... Something that we dredge up. Yeah, I think I'll sell it. <sighs> ah, the fisherman. I had thought you might stop by. Welcome to my humble studio. If you're wanting to experiment with some decorations, I'm the person to talk to. Hmm. I can attach flags and bunting to add some style to your boat. I have a design here already that you might like. If you find any others on your travel, bring them back to me and I can rig them up. <sighs> I could also add a splash of color to your hull, but I'm sorry to say that my selection of pigments is limited at the moment. Hmm. He thinks for a short while. The other day, down by the shoreline, I saw a strange crab with the most strikingly vibrant coloration. My knees aren't suited for clambering over rocks and chasing crustaceans, you see. But if you caught such a creature... Yo, we're gonna get some... We're gonna catch some crabs and make our boat twitch purple. Let's do it. He clears scraps of cloth and paper from his workbench, revealing a large pestle and mortar. With the right binding agent, we can grind them together for a new mixture. Hmm. Fisherman, bring me some of those strange crabs. We'll turn your vessel into a work of art. Uh, but for now, what can I help you with? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what color can I make it? Red, green, or blue? Or sharp mint? How much is this gonna cost? Maple orange. Oh, royal. Pur Wait, we can do royal purple? Oh, he doesn't have the right pigment. Damn it. Entangled crab and an imperious lobster. Mm -hmm. We gotta get a lobster. Alright, we'll, we'll hold off on painting the boat until we can paint it purple. I think. Yes, I definitely know what a bunting is. Grieving father? A Yankee lobster? It's the fucking Yankee lobster kid. <clears throat> Hello? Is everything okay? Uh, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere, in one of those wrecks. All alone in the cold, dark waters. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, 
but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance that you could find it, I'd be in your debt. The old mayor in his final days, what an awful sight it was. Opposite of a Yankee lobster, the Imperial lobster, yeah. It was picturing like a lobster in like a stormtrooper outfit. Somehow has even worse aim trying to hold a laser gun with like lobster claws. <laughs> Yo, Nappy? Oh, come on in. Dave the Diver looks different, yeah. Spooky Dave the Diver. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, you would cry over and over again. Begging anyone who would listen. Howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Um, let me think here. We still had fish to sell, right? Yeah, we do. All right, so we got some more. We have some more points of interest we can check out. We've got shipwrecks to dredge. And I still need to try to find a squid. <laughs> a little short for a storm lobster. Yo, we got the squid. This is exactly what we needed. Dude, we're cooking. We're absolutely cooking. I'm fishing my brains off right now. Alright, now let's get... Let's get home before we die. I'm gonna smash into this dock at like a hundred miles an hour one of these days. Uh, I do have fish for that order. No, I didn't store the grouper. I'm an idiot. I thought I did. Fuck. Okay, well, we gotta go catch another one then. I swear I thought I caught three and sold two of them, but I guess not. Well, I at least know where to catch them. And then... Uh, I'm... I Okay, I'm definitely interested in getting the builder to a new island eventually, but... I feel pretty happy with spending some upgrades on my boat first. Rod space. Modify two cargo spaces to also hold rods. Upgrade your vessel to a tier 2 hull and adds 5 cargo spaces. I think okay, I want to I want to put it towards towards this first. So we need metal scraps and cloth and another thing of lumber. Okay. Um let's go see if we can get one of those groupers. Got some cloth? Oh, baby. Oh, does this drain my sanity? Ah! 
I'm being mur- Dude, I'm, I'm literally cracking under pressure. Holy fuck. Okay, we got attacked. We got attacked by a scary fishy. That's not great. Um, we're fine though. Go fix our boat. What is this? Riddled flounder. Delicious. Um, there has got to be a way to get this to fit. Um, all right, the fishmonger is going to love that for sure. Isn't this a special type of fish that you would want? No? So when I get like smaller engines eventually, I can re-equip those, I guess. I'm trying to figure out, I'm wondering if I have to upgrade all four of these before I can get the new hull. So the repairs, the repairs aren't too bad. It's the middle of the day. Guess we'll just try to catch something off the back of Little Marrow. Let's go see what this objective is. We'll see if we can do some of the side quests. <clears throat> Man, it is a really, really weird feeling to be playing a game that's actually relaxing. It's been a minute. <laughs> It has been a minute since we've allowed ourselves to actually play a chill, cozy game. I cannot say I'm I'm I'm, I'm upset about it. Old iron chain. Huh. 
Aha. Jesus Christ, that was kind of hard. Oh, we got the belt buckle. So messing up... Okay, so failing... Oh, no, no, it's nighttime. Never mind. I was going to say, I wasn't sure if failing dredging makes, like, time go by faster. Must be weird to have a control scheme that doesn't hate me. I know, right? Root squid. Let's go home. Let's go home, buddy. I'm sorry. We're going home. Or do I fish even more? Um, no. We go home. Jesus. Dude, the fake rocks are so messed up. Okay, we dredge a little bit as a tree, you know? This game is so addicting. Holy shit. Oh! No! <laughs> oh! Oh, I hate fake rocks. Oh, fake rocks are the worst. Oh, man. <laughs> I bet the fake rocks also damage your hull. Oh, my. You look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. I want to be envious that you're not working, but the only difference between us is that I'm on the clock, that I'm clocked in. Hey, I'm proud of you, Tuka. I'm glad that you've, uh, you finally had a day that isn't just full of meetings. So I must have to, I must have to bring these to the, I can just, I can leave these in storage though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put those in storage for now. Uh, we should definitely take a nap. Our boy is kind of going insane. My schedule's calmed down for sure, dude, let's go. Yeah. Mine's kind of manageable too, as well. Now that I'm like, now that I'm done training in the UK, uh, things have definitely calmed down a lot. I have more trainings coming up in, like, end of May, but nothing, like, right around the corner. Alright, cool. So let's, uh, um, yeah, let's try to get to that other dredging spot, too. So we're just gonna take a, a little sail around the island. So it should be on the other side of this rock? Oh my god, I suck. It's a key that's larger than both of my onboard engines? What the fuck? An abnormally large and heavy key cast from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. 
Alright, well, let's go deliver that immediately. I'm sure this man will be very excited to have his 700 pound key. It's a plot key? Just a hill giant with a key. You enter the collector's house, he's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. Uh, you hand him the key. <laughs> hand him the key. Uh, the cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seems changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid in your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vigi vis vision as you stagger back briefly. Ability unlocked haste. Otherworldly speed at a price. Now go, we have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Uh, what did the words that you read from your book do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engines. Uh, can I not have it equipped then? Uh, so I asked him who owned the relics before. He looks at you for a moment. A look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Alright, I've read all the books that I can read. Oh, I still have to give him back his belt buckle. Um, we should probably do that now. Oh, so every fish has like a Cthulhu aberration version. Okay. Neat. Haste adds speed to your engine, but increases panic and engine heat. Select it with left bumper and use it by holding X. Oh, it's something that I don't have to use unless I need it. Perfect. Fantastic. Never using it. So, little marrows, and then we head home. Explain that you found a belt buckle uh, is currently in storage. 
Um, oh shit. I missed the start to a meeting because of you? Well, hang on. Is it a meeting at your old job or your new job? If it's a if you missed a meeting for your old job, then I'm not gonna apologize. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna apologize at all. Oh yeah, fuck them. <laughs> they should be honored that you show up at all, at any time. Three minutes before the end of the meeting, it's more than they deserve. All right, give the belt buckle to the man. Yes. Why? Cause fuck him. That's why. Uh, you give the belt buckle to the man. This is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please take this. I'm not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to you. Yes, it does, buddy. Oh, we love research parts. We love research parts around these parts. Um, I want to research better fishing rods. Researched equipment will appear for sale in shops. So I have to, hmm. Do I have to fully research the basic fishing rod first? I think I do. Um, okay, we have stuff that we can sell to the trader. Now let's go back to here and sell our fish. Nice lobster. It's a nice fucking lobster, kid. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you. Your engine. It sounds like... I'm sorry. I must took it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Well, I'm sorry, you were not what I was looking for. Uh, Bridge, why don't you have an East Coast accent? I think it's a missed opportunity. <laughs> it is exhausting to speak in a Boston accent for long periods of time. That's a lot. <laughs> I do like, uh, you do have a very good, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Like a, like a noir accent, Ducky, when you're trying to be like 1940s. You pulled the accent out a couple times when you were playing, um, I don't remember the name of the game. The game you were streaming last night. I forget. Everyone you've heard with a Boston accent is faking it just for kicks. <laughs> That's actually true. That's actually true. I don't think I have any fish for that order. Hmm. Alright, we got- we have so much money. We have so much money and nothing to spend it on. Because I think I just need, like, research parts. The vibe, love 1940s noir so much, so good. 
Can I buy stuff? She doesn't sell nets yet. I haven't found any nets. I literally can't store more lights on my ship. Alright. I guess we're just... doing random objectives and farming up money. We're looking for some more Graupers. Okay, we can finish that order. Oh, we gotta get out of here. It's making scary noises. I'm running. Uh, is that a tornado? I think it's still chasing us. <laughs> Alright, we are- we're panicking. We need to take a nap. We've had a long day. We've had a very long day. It's a sea nato. <laughs> it's a grouper? I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't- look. Grouper? It's a grouper. Grouper. I will say, though, Ducky, there's a lake. There's a lake by where I live. I'm not kidding. This is an actual name of a fish. Um, but there are fish in the lake that are named chub suckers. But that is an actual name of a fish. It's called a chub sucker. I swear to God, it is called a chub sucker. <laughs> and I want to know who was responsible for naming it that. Uh, completely normal around here and nothing to worry about. With a good night's rest, yeah, yeah, I should take a nap. I'll take a nap after I sell these fish. Order complete, baby. Give me that money. Somebody's chub got sucked by one. Yeah, I think I think we all know how the name came about. I just don't. I want to know who it was. <laughs> You know, sometimes things don't need fancy, complicated names. Sometimes a fish just sucks on your chub, and then that's... You name it a chub sucker. Oh, vice versa! <laughs> Fidgety, welcome on in. I mean, yeah, there's no... It was not specific about who was doing the chub sucking. That is a good point. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. Are we getting crabs to smoke pot? Probably named by Chubb. Wishful thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, wait. What is he giving me? I've got one here for you. In fact, it's a bit banged up. But you could get it fixed at the shipwright. Basic crab pot. A simple crab pot can be deployed out at sea. Oh, I can catch crabs. We can get crabs. Let's go. Don't forget where you put it. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two to check on it. Fiddler crab and a common crab. Oh, you sell more of these, and they're for a hundred bucks a pop. Okay. I'm gonna go absolutely nuts. You know what? I'm gonna go nuts. We're buying all of them. We're gonna catch every fucking crab on Earth. I'm going ape mode on crabs. Although I won't even be able to- I probably won't even be able to put all the crabs that we catch. Maybe we don't deploy them all at once. 
No, 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 chub. C H U B. It was not a chump sucker. It, they're called chub suckers. <laughs> I am. Yes, I'm catching crabs. I can't help it. Um. I love that he had. I love that he's like, hey. Uh, take this box that you can use to catch crabs, and he gives me like the half damaged one. And then has four full health ones for sale. He's like, I'm not going to give you one of the good ones. Uh, but you can use this if you want. Alright, well I'm going to put the broken one in storage. Oh no, 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 wait, 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 I need to take a nap. I need to sleep. My dude is going absolutely insane. Select the crab pot ability with left bumper into play with X. Uh, they catch things over time, but need repairing ever so often. I mean... Can I literally just deploy them in the bay? Do I have to have them somewhere, like, complicated? 2.7 meters, plenty of crabs. I'll deploy these ones and then we'll try to remember to come back for them. That's so much worse. I feel like you can hear Cookie saying, hey, that was mine in high school. <laughs> oh, they show up on the map too. That's so cool. All right, so let's head north. Let's head straight north and check out this last marker. Um. Okay, we gotta catch some more crabs. I am glad that the dude that we rescued didn't turn out to be a murderer. That, that was nice of him. Alright, I'm just not very excited about blue mackerel. Oh, this is just a place you can dock. Okay. That's really neat. I could just go there to sleep. Oh, we got some driftwood? Okay, very nice. We have even more cloth. No, wait, why did I do that? I don't even think I can put this on my ship. Oh, no. Um. Oh, no. Um. Hang on. Hold, please. Um, sorry, fish. You're getting thrown into space. Um, I guess I didn't need to throw it overboard. <laughs> we're okay, we're okay. It's very nice that it gives us this little extra spot on the side where we can put stuff. Um... Hmm. 
I don't think there's no other way that I could There's no other way that I could get this all to fit so I think we have to stop there I think we have to stop here and hightail at home I feel like dredging oh I could wait no I can rest here I could rest here I forgot this was a dock that's huge I'll just take a nap here material pile uh, this is the island where the builder wants materials delivered. Oh, shit. Wait, that's huge. Because I can just store some of this stuff here. Nice. And then we'll take a nap. And then if we can find some, if we can find some wooden boards, we can actually finish this. Absolutely gigantic. Massive. Alright, so I think the builder's gonna set up shop here now. Uh, you delivered all the necessary materials, you should let the building know. Okay. Oh yeah, time- time is going by, like, really fast when you dredge. Okay. Actually, it's been it's been a day and change I should probably check on my crabs to check on my crabs Go get my crabs checked out for sure, yeah. It's, uh... Probably something I should get checked. Yeah, it's fine. Just splash some seawater on it. You'll be okay. The lighthouse towers above, waves crashing endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of the structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Oh, we got some spooky squid. Tasting tongues writhe wildly around a set of yellow crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. Disgusting. I wonder if I check my crab traps at night if it's if it has creepy crabs. Go back to Abyssal Waters, see what you find. Yeah, I wanna, I do, I think, I think my boat can, 
can catch out of abyssal stuff now. Okay, so we have so much to do. Um, I have the fish, the cell, and then I also have, I'm gonna put the trinkets in storage. He has more crab boxes to sell? Oh my god, dude. He has an infinite supply of crab boxes. And then we have stuff we can put in dry dock. I'm still missing wood. So, can I put this in storage? Oh, I can. Okay. Alright, let's buy... Whoa. Halogen Spotlight? Basic, but solidly bright light. Its long range makes it ideal for spotting hazards at night. Um, hang on. Oh, shoot. Okay. So we can't actually... Right. We can't actually equip it until... I get the extra light spot on the front of my boat. <clears throat> yeah, no more... No more rock jump scares as soon as I finish upgrading. As soon as we get the plus one light space upgraded, we can actually equip it. Alright, so now we tell the builder that we gave them a, a spot. You've done it? Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Lady, I am not transporting you here at night. Chill. I gotta go check on my crabs first. It would not be right to let this lady on board with me when I have crabs. It just would not be right. A fiddler crab and a common crab. <laughs> I see, I see that look, Ducky. I see it. All right, we're gonna put the crab. We're gonna have a crab as a headlight. We're gonna have a crab as a headlight. Should I? So it says one day remaining. Um, we should probably test it. I'm curious if. I have to take them back to repair them, or if they break, are they just going to be destroyed and you lose all the crabs? I'm curious. I'm curious how much maintenance these, these need. Crab battle. You must remain on land. You see, I have crabs. That conversation has definitely happened at least once in human history. Oh man, okay, this one did not catch very many crabs. I, okay, so I want to experiment. I'm gonna leave one of these out here. I don't want the rest to break. Especially if they're cheap to repair. I'm going to leave the one out here and see what happens when it gets to zero. Um. A relatively normal sized crab with a preposterously large claw. The claw can grip with incredible strength. But the arm is fragile and can be snapped off with ease? God damn. You didn't have to do it to my boy like that. <laughs> He's got a strong arm, but you know, you can just like rip it off. 
They need to have, like, a trigger warning there for, like, crabs that might be reading that documentation. I do actually have crabs. The fishmonger wraps up the crabs and hands you some money. Nice. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more or repair damaged ones at the shipyard. I have one final request. Um, as you've seen, some fish around here can de develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of those mutants? Uh, they probably go insane. <laughs> I know, Tuka. It's violence against crabs. <clears throat> Perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. Okay, dude. Okay, that was very cheap to re repair all of these. That was very cheap. Um, I'm gonna put these back in storage for now because I don't want to be, I don't want to be committed to babysitting these. I might want to go exploring and I might be out for more than a couple of days. All right, let's get this lady. No, let's sleep. Let's sleep through the night and then deliver this lady. Take a little napsky poo. Ah. Gonna pick her up and just spin her around a couple times. Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I'm onward bound. Hi, lady. Keep your, your hands and arms and tentacles inside the boat at all times. Spin this, crab pants. Dude, do not do not threaten me with a good time, Tuka. Alright, north. North to Steel Point. We're gonna skirt and bird. Off to hit my balls around for a bit. Good luck dredging. Alright, thanks, Ken. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, good luck smashing some balls. It could be snooker. Could be something else. <laughs> you never know. If there's a ball that needs smashing, Ken's on it. Ah. Thank you, fella. She called me a fella. She knows. She knows about my stilting past. Uh, give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. <laughs> oh my goodness, she gave me some research parts. Beautiful. Flexible fishing rod is now available. Heat resistant line. So we could start fishing in volcanic areas or the mangrove. He has one talent, but he does it well, smashing balls. I don't know if I'm prepared to fish in a volcano. A mangrove sounds more relaxing. Let's go with the mangrove. Oh, I can research nets. Ooh. Cool. All right, let's check out this rock formation, maybe. Let's go up over here, see what kind of trouble we can get into.
Mangroves have spiders that'll jump on your head and creepy crawlers in the roots give me lava instead. I'm gonna be honest, Ducky. I did not know what a mangrove was. I just assumed a grove of trees with men in it. And I think I'm about to be disappointed. Oh, look at that big ass whale. Look at that big ass whale. Yeah, I see, I figured it was a grove of men. I assumed that was the, the most logical option. All right, chat, we're getting killed. We're getting killed. This thing looks cool. We're exploring it. We're gonna get killed. I don't care. We're driving through the night. We're gonna get murdered. It's worth it. Oh my! Nobody fucking move. Nobody breathe. <laughs> Longfish? Brother. Hadel? Oh god. We've made it to the Hades nuts fishing location. Don't blink, don't twitch, nobody breathe. Oh man, okay, well we found the volcanic area. Now that I dumped points into researching something that wasn't volcanic. A man meets you as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day, a fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. Uh, alright. Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I have been calling, and now you are the answer. The rite of purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? He called you weak, fight him. How does society exist with that fish right offshore? I think we're small enough, Daz, that it doesn't consider us food. I think we're literal ants to it. What does your spirit seek? My spirit seeks emptiness. I'm gonna go with the most, like, zen option. Yes, a pure vessel. Only those devoid of mortality can ascend past it. And your flesh... What does your flesh crave? Um, the sting of salt or the, the chill of water? I sense it in you. A glimmer of what waits below. Finally, what does your world deserve? Nothing. Exactly. And yet it takes endlessly harvesting, draining, woo. But soon it will know that it has taken too much. It is already too late. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. I would have chosen none of those options. I assumed... I ass like, those are not the options that I would answer as a person, but I assumed since he's a crazy fanatic in like a weird corner of the world, that he'd be one of those weirdos that loves like not being happy. Uh, now your role, as my initiate, is to act as Herald of the Purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crag behind us and ignite the crucible. Uh, visit the shrines of the deep, I will mark them. They will offer offer further guidance, and I must provide no more. All right. Uh, I'm looking for sunken relics. Are there any shipwrecks around here? Relics, you say? Perhaps one such as this? He pulls a pocket watch from inside his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe in the air around it. You are drawn to it too, I see. 
It found me during my right of proving as I, scav as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sapped at my spirit when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. As will you. When the ritual is prepared, it will be yours to carry forth. Okay. What is the scroll that you're holding? I found it at the end of my other life. It washed ashore as all great gifts do. It took some time for me to decipher the runes. It speaks of an incomprehensible door. And those wretched, twisted fish that swam through, their flesh is the closest thing to a key. Are there others that share your beliefs? There are pretenders, failures that make a mockery of the deep. I tried correcting their ways, but I soon saw that they had lost the path. I left them to their ceaseless hunger. You know that scene from Hercules where the guy says, Wanna buy a sundial? Yeah. Wanna buy a pocket watch? And then opens his robes like a flasher? That's what I'm imagining this guy did when he pulled out his pocket watch? Dude, I love that scene. Yo, Kura! Kura, welcome on in. Uh, this is a cultist. He's a, he's a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. He's a little crazy. The stone columns of the temple are carved with ancient pictures and text. Which carving do you want to look at? The carving shows a swarm of small fish surrounding a boat. The ravenous children, alone they are nothing. Together they summon her. Beneath those words, someone has added a crudely scratched note. Do not let them grip you, burn them away. The stone... Okay. That scene is so good, I quote it way too often. Yeah, that whole, that whole movie is so good. Uh, the unseeing mother, when the starving cannot eat, she approaches. Blind, but can hear her children. Avoid at all costs. Alright, so this is advice about how to not get murdered. When you get to certain areas. I don't think we're ready for any of this yet. Uh, so I'm gonna take a nap. take a nap and try to get some goodies. Oh my god, it keeps giving him so much cloth. hearing so many awful sounds some nice wet cloth yeah my favorite i'm hearing awful noises it's really scaring me maybe it's just the volcanoes venting Pick up one of these. Nah, I can, I can, I don't need fish. I do not need fish. 
I can get another one. Ship upgrades are way more important. Okay. And now we run back to the dock and go to bed again. Because we spent all day dredging. And then we get the hell out of this area. Because we are not supposed to be here right now. It's fine. We're fine. Don't worry about it. I'm a, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. Just a tiny bit. You know, after seeing the fish the size of a football field to just pop out of nowhere. Tiny bit worried. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we just maintain current course. Just head back this way. We could, we should check on the builder on our way back, because maybe she's done setting up her shop. So we'll pass, we'll pass Steel Point on the way home. Drink up, me hearties, yo-ho! Okay, that's a big-ass whale. Hello, Mr. Big Ass Whale. Good day to you. This is like in a really weird way, like scratching my Subnautica itch. I love Subnautica. But it's like somehow less scary than Subnautica. Because <laughs> you don't have to actually go underwater. <clears throat> well, yet at least. I don't know. Maybe we'll buy a submarine at some point. Oh shit, she built a house! Yo, she's quick. Oh, some dolphins over there? Those absolute cuties. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up uh, set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. The engineer's companion added to the cabin. She hands you a book. Oh, nice. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. Nice. All right, we're going to start reading that book. Ah. Alright, let's research the... Oh, no, wait, we don't... Shit. Uh, never mind. I don't know why I thought we had research parts. We have... We need to go back to Greater Marrow with all of these... Oh, I could stuff these in storage for now, actually. I could, couldn't I? If I wanted to keep exploring... Not sure I've explored these islands. So we could go west. See what's over here. It is getting kind of late. I probably should have slept. That's okay. What could possibly go wrong? Dude, the dredging has been going amazing, Dark. 
I love this game. This game is so ridiculously relaxing. Except for when something tries to murder you. But even then. You got a broken monocle? Very nice. Alright, so what's up with this boat? You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Uh, call out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A fisherman. Uh, what do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I am very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into the cursed island chain. I could deliver it for you. Uh, well that would work, I guess. Just a duct taped Amazon package. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package to the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it. In your hands, dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen. I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now, I'm supposed to be transporting live goods. I don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, take this too. Oh, dude, I love books. I love books. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Alright, so there's another letter over there. But I am hightailing it back to this lady. We're gonna go to... We're gonna go here, we're gonna rest, and then I think we're gonna go to Little Marrow. Excuse me. Excuse me! Oh god! My engine was disabled? Oh no. That's not good. Hey, you're a builder. Uh, could you build my ship back together again, please? Ah. Alright, well, I guess we rest and then limp home. Alright, what's the damage? Ah, uh, they broke my good motor. That's not good. Maybe my engine could just sleep it off? Yeah. Rub some dirt on it. Oh boy, yeah, we are- we are limping. That sucks. I tried- I tried- so I dodged the boat that turned into a fish. But I fat-fingered trying to get haste-equipped. So we got hit. I'm also- I'm kind of curious how haste works. Like, do I only damage my engine if I redline it? Or is it just, like, doomed? scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've ever seen before. Cool. That'll make the fishmonger happy. Hmm. 
Um, he takes the fish from you, he clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. <sighs> yes, this will do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these two? Oh my god, let's go. Research parts, baby. Do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please. Sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now. Um, we're gonna put this in storage. I gotta fix all my shit. The fisherman mocker's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. Fix my shit. Um, gonna put this in storage for now. All right, we can. I think we can get some legit upgrades now. So we're gonna have two cargo spots that can hold rods. And then two more cargo spaces for engines. Oh my god, we have so much cloth. So we need, we, we are bottlenecked on wood. We just need a ton of wood. All right, let's get the volcanic fishing line um, and see if we can buy it. Probably not. We spent a lot of money, but. I need 20 bucks. Come on, game. Um, Hang on. So I can sell, yeah, I can sell my old light bulb for 50. Beautiful. Um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, check, check this out. Look at that. Boom, you can move that over there and now we can equip this. We're cooking, chat. We're cooking. So this one can get, can catch coastal and shallow. Oh, okay. So if we buy this one, when we have enough money, we could replace both of these and just put that one here. Um, right, okay, Little Marrow, right. I knew we were in the middle of doing something. Mm. Let's take a nap. Let's nap. Yeah, ever the quest there's so many nice like UI features. The map is nice, the quest board is nice. Being able to like quickly navigate between your boat and like your storage is really sweet. Um I do like that when you press like this weapon wheel icon or like item wheel icon, 
it slows down time slightly to give you a little bit more time to react to stuff. We have a shitload of stuff we can sell to the trader, too. Ah. Take this as a symbol of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Oh, we gave us another book? Dude, we are getting books left and right. Uh, how's the day treating you? I've got a package for you. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. He didn't even pay me for it? That son of a bitch. Yeah, we have, so we have three books to read right now. Holy moly. Alright, I, so I think I want to go back to Lava Land. I want to go back to Lava Land. Which was... Out here, I think. It was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, because we went we went past Steel Point. And that's the ancient temple. Okay. But this was where these islands were I think where I got the package from. I think I still want to go out there anyways. Because I think I saw a message in a bottle. Okay, can I use haste as long as I don't cook the engine? Or am I going to damage my ship eventually? Although I thought it said, I thought it said that it does make me panic slowly. Uh, but I guess panicking in broad daylight is fine. Equipment types that use durability will lose it 10% slower. Very nice. The relaxed mind is probably something we should read. Serpent flag. A red flag bearing a traditional depiction of an arching sea serpent. Um, so I must be able to bring that to the painter, I guess. Okay, we're panicking. We're pa we're panicking. Chill, 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 chill. We're fine. We're turning on our one little tiny light. No need to panic. We're fine. Everything's fine. We're just 
just gonna go to bed. Chillin'. I guess she probably doesn't... I don't know if she, like, will have something for us eventually. Or this is just, like, a docking point. Uh, that's too many finds within five minutes. Are you sure we're okay? I... I think if I tell myself it enough, Dark, I'm just trying to manifest it. You know? I should really put these in storage. It is my goal to make it to Lava Island today. We will see if we actually get there or not. <laughs> yeah, the motor runs on hope. Man O Fest. There is a place called Mangrove in here, Dark. We haven't met we haven't found Mangrove yet, but I was telling Ducky, I hope it's literally just a forest full of men. That is my hope. All right, to the temple, full speed ahead. My killer whale homies. Just doing killer whale stuff. So we're gonna take a nap. We're gonna take a nap and then start fishing in the during the day. And then I don't really have I do not have a good plan for how to sell these fish. Because we are so far away from the fishmonger. But at least we'll be catching like new kinds of fish. Brother. We got new pillows and stuff and the first night I slept on them and wake up and now I have this pain in my neck. No! I've definitely done that before, Kuro. I've definitely slept on my head before and been like, how did I do this? When do we get attacked by a Leviathan? That happened like an hour ago, Fidgety. <laughs> that was a gigantic sea monster that just pulled up on us. It was terrifying. I definitely didn't shit myself. I definitely did not shit myself. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, definitely didn't shit myself. Uh, alright, how the hell do- Dude, I really have to run these all the way home to sell them? Brother, that's so far away. It's not even gonna be fresh when I get there. Um... Well, I mean, that's kind of like what we're stuck with. Oh, this is volcanic, though. Are you shitting me? This thing's enormous. <laughs> Brother. Uh. Sorry, dog. Alright, let's try to make it home. Let's try to make it home. I wasn't here, so it didn't happen. I don't know about all that. Well, unless you're saying I didn't shit myself, in which case, yes, it did not happen. <laughs> uh, they just need to be broken in because my old pillow is just like completely flat, so my neck's probably not used to it. Yeah. All right, people in chat, how many pillows do you sleep with? What's the what's the consensus? I am I am very big on being a one pillow person. I feel like. Any more than one pillow, and my neck is just like super far up. Yo, Bean! Dude, I am loving Dredge. This game is so good. Three? Three is so many! One? Okay, yeah, yeah, we got some ones in chat. Some people are like, give me a literal fort of pillows. Like, give me, give me a weighted blanket of pillows. <laughs> Alright. We gotta get back to Greater Marrow so I can sell this fish. I gotta, I wanna read chat, but at the same time, oh no, my lights went out. Oh, okay, we can turn them back on. But the game likes to just pop rocks in front of you randomly. So we gotta watch out for that. Sleep with two pills. Uh, the bottom pill is an actual pillow, but the top pill is a blanket stuffed into a pillowcase because I like my pills firm. Uh, one pillow for my head and one body pillow. Let's go. Okay, um, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyways, uh, what can I do for you? Well, chittering mandibles scythe the air in front of this deep dweller, its small body encased in a suit of thick bone. Considered by many to be a living fossil, though technically a shark, it swims like an eel, hunting prey with 300 needle-like teeth. Dude, we got 200 smackaroos for that haul. Not too shabby. Yeah. That is so many teeth. Alright, so... I just need two by fours. I literally just need two by fours. If we can find some more wood, we can upgrade so much stuff. Like, I don't think we can't buy wood. Mm. 
10 oh 10 percent resistance to panic that's pretty big oh and we have another we had a message in a bottle we never read <clears throat> uh yesterday was the reading of his mother's will most of the remaining estate went directly to him of course but to my surprise she bequeathed to me her pocket watch curious i'm not fond of the thing but i know that taking it will mean a lot to him I cannot help but feel it is some veiled jab at me from beyond the grave. She was the type to do such a thing. Was I late on some occasion? I can't recall. I googled fish with the most teeth in the Pacific Lingcod has 555 teeth between two sets of jaws. Dude, imagine that dentist bill. Well, Mr. Uh, Pacific Lingcod, I can see here uh, we did some x-rays of your mouth. Uh, and you have 553 cavities. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna need you to stay in this dentist chair for approximately six weeks while we unfuck your teeth. And the bill is going to be 15 million dollars. <laughs> um, I'm sorry that you're a fish and do not have dental insurance. Oh, I wanted to... I forgot to experiment. I want to check on my... Crab trap. Oh, so it needs repair, but we can pick it up. Nice. And there's a take all button. Okay, cool. Um... I could definitely make this fit somehow. Um... Man, maybe we- wait, can we not? You have to be able to somehow. Damn, maybe we can. Madness. Oh, we totally can. I'm a dummy. There we go. I was like, I swear this has to work somehow. Plenty of room. Oh, bequeath? Yeah. I bequeath. It just means I threw it at you. It means I threw something at you and I want you to be grateful for it. direction have we not traveled in i don't think we've got we haven't gone to the research outpost or these like southern chain of islands so that would be like straight well yeah that'd be straight south i think we went there for a little bit but that was like the very start of the game and we basically didn't have like anything Honestly, the big thing for me is finding more piers that we can dock at is going to be huge. And if we can find... If there's ever any more merchants where we can sell fish at, that's going to help a lot.
Oh, are these some wooden boards? Let's go, baby. This is going to help us upgrade so much stuff. This is the best. I think we need to make for Blackstone Isle. Pronto. <laughs> Something is making horrible sea monster noises. Not again! Punch it! Ah! Run! Fucking run! Panic! Yo, Tokyo Drift right into this pier. See you later, fishy! Not today, buddy. Uh, alright. <laughs> Terrifying. Um, to storage, to storage, to storage, to storage, to storage. Boom. We take a little nap and we're right back out there. Right back out. We go again, baby. Um. Alright, so we went, we went this way. There is still some more stuff to dredge on this island. Yeah, I've never uh I've never been to a chiropractor, but I would I would probably love to do that. Ooh, I see a little ship, a little shipwreck out here. Anything delicious to dredge today? A bag of doubloons. Let's go, dude. It's almost night time, so we're going back home again. Wait, could I? I could. Could I sleep at the research outpost? I think I could, right? I'm pretty sure it had a dog. Them spooky jellyfish.
Oh, it doesn't have storage, though. So I can rest here. But I can't dump off items. Okay. sure what that is. That's somewhere we've been? Alright. We should... We should head back to Greater Marrow. And then upgrade the hell out of her boat, I think. I would not be able to fit that on my boat anywhere. Ooh, fancy ring. Although I'm thinking mm, we should probably we should probably hit Little Marrow first to sell all of our trinkets. I feel like we have a bunch that's like a bunch in storage now. I can actually sell this right out of storage. Hmm. Right, so we can give him the flag. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, what does it cost? Is it free? Oh, nice. We just get a snake flag. Hell yeah.
Alright, upgrades, people. Upgrades. Um, we can have four extra spaces to hold nets. And then an extra light space. Alright, now we can get a new hull with five extra resource slots. This is gonna take a lot. We're still bottlenecked on wood, which is hilarious. Refined metal? I don't know where we're gonna find refined metal, but... The simple design will passively catch basic fish when deployed. Uh, a wise investment for those that want to explore the ocean. So I just deploy it off the back of my boat and it just like catches fish as I go. And it only lasts for a single day. That doesn't sound particularly exciting. Oh, but... Um, you know what we can do is we can, we can get this new fancy light. And then we can sell this. Because I don't need it anymore. I need 10 hours of dredge noises, it's too cozy. The soundtrack is just so good. So good. Oh man, I don't even know. I think I think I want to take I want to take a quick five minute break guys and then I'm down to play a little bit more um I know my sister's coming over around like 5 30 and I'm gonna drive up to Noggle and Daz's so I can't be streaming for like too too much longer but we can still play a couple more hours uh but I just want to want to grab a snack uh so we'll be back in just a minute and continue the cozy Thursday fishing vibes so hang in there guys uh we'll be right back a little sh yeah, just a little, little snack. Just a little, little snack, you know?
All righty. Thank you for the welcome back, Thor. Uh, who remembers what I was doing? Because it sure wasn't me. Um. So I have a quest to check out Gale Cliffs. I feel like there's probably... I feel like we're still missing a bunch of stuff at the research outpost. Hmm. Like, we might be able to do the ancient temple stuff, but that area still kind of scares me. I was deleting old files, didn't pay attention. I don't actually know if I had uh, a plan <laughs> before I went on break, so... We probably haven't checked out these islands either. Let's, uh, alright, let's pop over to Gale Cliff. We probably don't have the fishing equipment to actually catch the fish in the in like that region. But we can at least like we can still dredge stuff. Uh, you approach a hooded figure, swathed in dark blue robes. Their face is barely visible. Fishermen, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and the waves. Fulfill the hunger. The hooded figure unfolds an old paper scroll. They point to a shape shown at the top. It appears to be a blue mackerel. I mean, I could probably find a blue mackerel. That doesn't sound like a hard ask. Um, we're not gonna get mackerels. We need coastal. I need... Basic ass coastal... Fishing spot. And I ain't seeing it. Um, all right, let's put a marker down because I want to come back here. Oh, yeah, we should be able to find that. Yeah, I mean, I trust him. You know, he's got a blue robe on. All right, one of these might be coastal if we're... Oh, that's wood, though. Oh, that's wood, baby. Coastal. Wait, this is huge. Okay. Do we think he's gonna want more blue mackerel? Surely he's very hungry. He's either gonna want a ton of blue mackerel or like ever increasing difficulty of fish. Or maybe we just give him one and he's happy, but I have a hard time believing that. We are going to get some wood. It's not even wood, it's cloth. That's upsetting. Oh my god, and it's nighttime too? Uh... 
All right, well, we can't... All right, we gotta go... We gotta go to Little Marrow, I think. Go there for the night. Although, oh, is the macro gonna go bad? Fuck, I hope it doesn't go bad. Is it okay? It's stale? It's not fresh, it's stale. But it's not totally terrible. Wait, what was that? Uh, hang on. What is this? Oh my god, it's huge. Um... No, dude. Um... Ha- wait. It's three across? So much for all my macro. Oh, I really hope it doesn't go bad. Alright, I absolutely have to throw these in storage. And now, hopefully this guy does not mind stale fish. like stale fish they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart they stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously more still empty a tiger mackerel I don't know if I caught that one maybe we can pull one over him you just want to eat that no he did not want to eat it okay <laughs> Do you want to eat an entire stingray instead? Does that sound good to you? No? I think... Hmm. Ah, do we take the L on these fish? Or do we go back and sell them? I don't want to just explore. Yeah, we're gonna. Alright, we're tossing these overboard. I'm not selling them. I'm not selling them because I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I want to keep searching for more vehicle parts and try to actually get to Gale Cliffs. Search all these islands. If it's something that can go bad, I'm not stuffing it on my boat. I mean, I'll still, like, hunt for new discoveries and stuff. But none of the fish that I'm catching are <laughs> probably going to make it to market. Oh, I see a wreck.
Oh, wait. Getting over with mind and body is a pun. I just noticed that. Getting over it with mind and body, like getting over it with Bennett Foddy. I like that. Oh, we're, we are have 15% resistance and 10% resistance to panic. We're like super panic resistant. Ah! Ah! It's a crab boat. Yo, is that a treasure chest? Am I going to get baited by an even larger crab? A rotting chest peeks out from the skeleton of a wrecked ship. Oh, we got to check. Is it a mimic? Probably. Yo! Look at that! Yo, we got paid. Thank you, mimic. Thank you for the 2 by 4s Much appreciated. The duality of exploration. Sometimes you get a chest full of loot. Sometimes the shipwreck is a giant fucking crab. And monster punches you to the moon. You, you never know what you're gonna get. Oh, there's a buoy light. There's a buoy light over there. Does that mean that there's a dock? It's not a guarantee, but it's also pretty late at night. <sighs> I mean, it's actually kind of late at night, and we're so far away from... We're so far away from anything that could be a dock. I mean, we kind of got to go for it, right? We're just kind of out here. Oh, I think we got, I think we got caught with our pants down here, Chip. No, 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 no. I just want a dock, dude. What do I need for a dock? We fucked up. <laughs> we fucked up. We have done fucked up. Oh, please just give me a dock. No, dude. Is that a dock? Wait. Please. Please be a dock. Oh, yes. <laughs> Saved by the bell. You stand in the center of a campsite. The fire's embers are cool, but ash is still steadily blowing out with the wind. Uh, check for footprints. You find no footprints, but unfamiliar symbols have been sketched in the dust nearby. Some have been erased with a hasty sweep of a foot. A large flat ro rock sits atop the charred wood of the campfire. A handful of tiny fish bones can be seen poking out from the ashes. You hit, you you kick the ashes. Your foot hits something hard at the bottom of the pile. Oh, we got some research points. Wow, this is dog shit. What is dog shit, Tuka? Talk to me. You need to remove Aga as a mod as soon as feasible. Wait, why? <laughs> you should be timed up for 154 seconds. He's not even here. <laughs> He's not even in my channel right now. I mean, what did he do this time?
Uh, the tent is a sheet of cloth suspended over some sticks. There's nothing inside save for a smooth hollow in the dirt where someone slept. Um, alright. What didn't he do? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I'm actually, like, not mad at Agar right now. Mostly because he's been streaming a lot of still fella. Uh, yo, Marcus? Marcus, welcome on in. We're just doing some fishing. Don't judge me, but I need to test something. Okay. Marcus, I will do my best not to judge you. Apparently a friend got suspended by Twitch for saying something, so I'm doing for this for science. Uh, I mean... I trust you, Marcus, but okay. <laughs> Show me your tits. Uh, <laughs> who? Wait, who got? <laughs> yeah, at least put a please. Who? Who got suspended for saying that? And who did they say it to? <laughs> um. All right. All right, we're gonna take a little nap, Skipu. Our boat got fucked up. That's all he said in a friend's stream and he got suspended for unsolicited sexual advances. Um, there were like four people in chat and they're all friends, yeah. That is really dumb. I mean, I guess there's always a chance that some random person reported it. And then like, I don't know. That is pretty stupid. <laughs> what should- yeah, exactly. What kind of a chub sucker would do that? You have to report it. It's not unsolicited since it wasn't directed towards them. Yeah, maybe the person- maybe I want people to say, show me your tits, you know? Alright, well our, our boat got absolutely fucked up, by the way. Our boat got shit on. Um, please don't bump. I say worse borderline things at the time than that. Yeah, I've, uh, I would, I would challenge Dark. You have said stuff way more unhinged than that. And fucking Adino, half the things Adino says should get him banned. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, obviously, I'm not offended by it, and I find it hilarious, but. Adino has said some unhinged shit. <laughs> oh yeah, Toothy. For sure, Toothy. Let me file a report of Marcus so we can finish the scientific research. Marcus, it was it was nice knowing you, bud. He was a moderator? Oh my god. I'm just gonna go to, into like a bunch of people's channels now and just say, show me your TTS. Please show me your TTS. Oh, I don't know if I, this, this is not gonna fit, is it? This is, this is not gonna, oh, we, we, we'll make it fit. We'll make it fit. Um, I can't access storage on this random shack. <laughs> Damn. Uh, ooh, I can't actually... Sp I can spend this research point, though. 
So we can get the anti-tangle line. Mm, we could get a better engine. I feel like we need a better engine. So a refined outboard engine or a twin prop engine. All right, let's go. Let's put a point into this. I forgot that I had spent. I forgot I had spent a point on this. What's I don't know what's better. We all make it fit, ooh woo. <laughs> hey yo. <clears throat> Alright, we need to we need to limp back to port somehow. How am I oh my god, dude. I can't I can't get rid of anything. I cannot get rid of any of this stuff. But I know that whatever this is is important. I guess I could get rid of the trinkets. Oh, it's just a flag. Oh, cool. Nice. It's already almost nighttime again. We we'll grab this message in a bottle, go back to camp, and then rest, and then try to just get back to our little island chain. Uh, kids have a half day today, so almost adult. Have fun, boys. Thanks for letting me touch the signs. Yes, I'm glad that you didn't get insta banned, Marcus. Um, <laughs> feel free to ask me to show you my tits anytime you want. Uh, I do not mind. <laughs> Catch you later, man. Alright, take a little nap, Skipoo. Friendsgiving? Bet. <laughs> Bet. <clears throat> All right, we have no new books to read. We gotta catch a tiger mackerel. We got a message in a bottle. All right. He still refuses to take me aboard when he is working. He is convinced that I will find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I am being overly needy. I know he needs some alone time, you know, uh, but I'm so desperately bored at home when he's away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting. I must convince him to let me have a go. <laughs> Eleven sixteen this year? Oh my god, let's go. I'm in, Marcus. I'm in. I'm there. <laughs> Alright, I would like to not get murdered on my way home. Dude, I am so, so far away from everything. Sweet Jeebus, I am so far away from everything. Alright, I think we don't want to go through... No, those are wooden boards. I need them! I need these. Oh my god, no. Do I throw the trinkets over to pick these up? No, dude. Ah! I 
Actually, wait. Oh, I think of. I'm an idiot. The funny thing is, I threw that away, and I'm not even sure if I can fit this anywhere else. There's got to be a better way of stacking this. Um, let me think about this. Yeah, I could fit a board. Although now I did some dredging, so that wastes time. Oh, man. <clears throat> so now we have even less time to make it home. I mean, if we find another coastal village, that would be huge. Oh, hang on. Hold, please. What's all this? What's all this now? Oh, I have access to my storage. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Mm. Mm. Uh, the real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now, the devil. <sighs> Ingfell used to be a whaling town, emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the whales got scared some 20 years ago, and now look at us. Barely scraping by for a new candle. Uh, do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dogs keep digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Could you bring me an aged conger eel? Uh, sure. Thank you, you'll be decently compensated. Where could I catch one? I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. They'll be fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. They only come out at night. Okay. Hmm. Okay, bunch of treasure at the south end of the island. Hmm. <clears throat> So I can't sell fish here. That's annoying. There's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. Oh, buys and sells almost anything and does repairs. Oh, that's huge. That is huge.
Uh, ahoy there, you're a new face. A fisherman, I take it perfect. Uh, well, we should get along like a house on fire. Haha. -ha. I'm a traveler and a merchant all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Uh, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Have you met the photographer? She stopped by my pontoon a little while back. She's loaded up with fancy camera equipment to take pictures of all the wildlife. She sighs wistfully. I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to document everything you do? You'll never forget anything. Anyway, she said she was setting up on a small island to the south of the Marrows. Okay, if you're in the area, maybe you can check on her. She has refined metal. She has refined metal. And research parts. Oh my god. Okay, refined metal. Yes, lock it in. Instantly buying that shit. So she won't buy trinkets. So she's not a dry dock, but she's a shipwright. Okay. Uh, wait, I should put this in... I should definitely put this in cargo. Or in storage. And I should repair my ship. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, wow, this was very fortuitous. We got, we got pretty lucky there. Uh, do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler? Absolutely! I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I've figured out most of them I've traveled so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share your info with me? Uh, sure. The fish I'd love to track are oarfish, gulper eel, goliath tigerfish, and... Coelant... What the hell? Goel... Acanth? Coelacanth? There's no way I'm saying that right. Uh, I assume in this game you'll have a chance to expand your inventory later. I'm not sure about storage. Maybe. Um, but I can for sure increase that. That piece of metal that I just got will let me increase the amount of, like, storage space I have on my ship. Coal a can. Coal a can. Okay. So she'll bounce around from place to place. Alright, very cool. Very, very, very cool. Um, we should probably do some fishing and sell it to her while we're here. If we can. Blackmouth salmon.
Maybe we can catch some fucked up looking salmon. Ooh. Okay. We got a scary looking one. A shimmering blackness permeates the flesh of this rel relentless fish. Muscles atrophied and decaying, but still it swims on. Bump, bump, bump. We should not be dredging at night, but we're going to do it anyways. Oh, research part? Oh my god. Wait, what's over there? Alright, we're going to take a nap before we get murdered. So we could buy our found outboard engine. Mm. Oh, wait. I do have a dry... This is a dry dock. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Okay. It was named something different. Oh, my God. Let's go. We can upgrade the hull. Oh, no, we can't. We need more wood. See, I knew, I knew we needed to grab all the wood we could get our hands on. All right, two more sets of wood and we're cooking. I really do hope we can upgrade our storage at some point. Dude, this game is insane. This game is so good. I am hopelessly addicted. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Wait, Tiger Mackerel. That was one of the ones that she wanted. I think. Oh no, that's what the blue guy wanted. The, dude, the weird dude in the robe wanted a Tiger Mackerel. I don't know if I want to swim across the entire planet right now to give him one, but... Because he's like... He's over there? It's actually not that far. If I don't do it now, I'm not going to remember to do it. Oh. So I should probably do it. <laughs> Alright, so he is... in this island chain. I've been saying for an embarrassing long amount of time. I'm thinking a fish had my name in it. Um, well, I've seen this name and saying it for a long time beats the fact that I just looked it up in Google today. You have more seniority over me. No seniority here. We're all part of British community. Um, good thing you don't have to swim there, Mr. I have a boat. <laughs> uh, I have a boat for the moment. I have a boat for the moment. We will see if the sea monsters decide to let me keep the boat or not. There you go, buddy. 
Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish, drawing out its heart. It's consumed as quickly as the first. Almost fulfilled. They point to a fish on the final scroll. It's a snake mackerel. It says it's coastal. That almost looks like the thing that I caught in the volcanic region. Oh, it actually might have been. I think it's in the coastal region by, like, the volcanoes. Which is all the way up here. Uh, I'm not done. I'm not done exploring this town. So that's gonna have to wait. I do have nitrous oxide. I have nitrous oxide that makes me my character go insane, slowly. <laughs> Which is amazing. If I if I think if I, I think if I overcook it, it'll damage my engines, and it causes my character to panic when I activate it. So the little like eyeball below the clock at the top, how it like starts flashing red. I start going crazy. <clears throat> All right. So there were. I know there were boards at the back of the island that I could still dredge. How is it almost nighttime again? What the hell? probably catch this because there's a really good chance we don't have whatever this is stonefish cool. all right i cannot catch another one of those Oceanic perch. Oh, these are little guys. We gotta keep farming up money because we know we're gonna need 500 bucks for the storage upgrade. This isn't a separate thing I can dock at, is it? No. stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Touch it. It does not respond to your touch. It's like the, the, the insult, like, you need to go touch grass. It's just telling, like, a sailor, you need to go touch rock. Like, go, go touch rock, dude. Ah, ah, no, 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 brother. What? Come on, man. Are you shitting me?
I could not have done... I could not have dodged that any better than I did. <laughs> not possible. Jerk broke my fishing rod. I should have tacked. I can't tack in this game. It's not Super Smash Brothers. Oh, no, no, no. Sacred. Swear to God. All right, message in a bottle. Uh, Vessel SY Grand Prize owner, Mr. Michael Schult. Gale Cliffs. Um, purchased from the antiquarian at Little Mallow for a bargain price. Oh, Oaken, Oaken Music Box. Uh, previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the underside. Otherwise in reasonable condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism pending inspection by a locksmith. Wood mask. Carved wooden tribal mask said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Man, it does it all. The five-in-one men's shampoo wooden mask. Uh, traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch. 12-piece tea set. Bone china, six cups, six saucers. Acquired from an eastern dealer, do not use. A jar of earth. A jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. Ah, okay, it was aliens from space. It was meteor rocks in a jar that's causing all of this. I do like that piece of level design that you can just barely see the like smokestack or like back of a building from this side of the island to just give you an idea that there might be something over here. Because if they hadn't added that little feature, I would have had no idea that this fishing village was even here. I need to drop this stuff off. And then we need to farm up. We need to farm up some money. Actually, before I even do that, I have to fix my ship again. Oh, 
Oh, that giant fish patrols over here, even? Yikes. I think it, it was the fish. It was the fish that bit me on the back of the island. The like giant long, like the big, not the giant giant fish, but it was like, it's like six times the size of my boat. It has like a big red eye in the center of it. I think I saw him like slowly lurking away. All right, got ourselves a nice clean 60 bucks. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do some dangerous night fishing. Cause that's probably more lucrative more lucrative it's probably gonna get us killed i also do want to check out over here at some point An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards ah. you. Oh, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? Uh, this place doesn't seem safe. Why are you living here? I, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had a beautiful life, until the collapse. Oh. Now I'm alone, and cut off by land and sea. Left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. Uh, I could help you move. Oh. It's not that simple. My brother would never... You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot. Mostly about our parents' inheritance, how, sh how it should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Uh, where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the house down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it's a large white bone crest. Um, it would mean the world to me. Uh, please be careful. Oh my god, my storage locker is fucked. A pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. Ooh. Big bada boom? Like to see some heavy cleaning with booms. It's almost spring cleaning time is right around the corner. 
Hmm. Alright, wait. We have enough. We have enough for the bigger storage. Let's go. Upgrade your vessel to a tier 2 hull, adds 5 cargo spaces, and your ship can sustain one additional impact. Worth. And I'm almost as excited about the fact that unlocks more tech tiers, just so that I can dump more of the stuff that's in my storage. Like, out of it. <laughs> like, my storage is looking sus at the moment. But now I can finally actually put a bunch of the shit that I've been collecting in it. I don't have money to buy it yet, but... Ooh, extra cargo spaces? That'll be nice. Nice and clean. Oh, oh. So he actually marked it on the map where the, uh, the item was that he lost. <sighs> I mean... I got nothing else going on today. I guess we could try to get killed. <laughs> Just get absolutely munched on. Oh, it almost looks like... Yeah! If we get explosives, we'll be able to clear this, too. Oh, we can unlock more of the island. Yay, minus the extra Y. <laughs> yeah. Alright, the big fish... is coming. He's coming. Boost! Oh! Oh, God. Okay. He hurt. He hurt a lot. Is he gonna leave me alone? Probably not. Oh, I'm not even going the right way. Sick. Don't mind me, dude. I'm just... Just gonna do some fishing. Not that I need more cloth. We're getting the hell out of here. I think I did this wrong anyways. Why are there like little flags here? A pile of loose debris and the gaps between the rocks you can see what appear to be large white teeth. Ugh. I got that bag of money I threw away. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was trying to think in the back of my head if Nob had played this or not, but I think, I think you're right, I think he did. I don't know if he ended up finishing it though, I don't know if he beat it or not. I can't remember. Ah. 
Do you know how I could clear the debris around here? You probably need some explosives. My brother at Ingfell used to make explosives. Oh. Well, sounds like we got to go talk to him about some explosives. All right, we're taking a nap. Something's making terrifying sounds out there. I don't even know if I have money for repairs. I guess we could catch some money for repairs. I don't know about you, but it's windy as heck. I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty windy here too. What? I caught a fish from this area? On the road again? Oh, I can't wait to get on the road again. A wreckfish? Ooh. This is an absolute chonker. This has to be possible, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, an erect fish. Fetch is a higher price. Oh. A gift for my most loyal customer? Ooh. 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 Yo, Deckard! Deckard, welcome on in. We're doing some, some fishing simulator. I'm absolutely in love with this game. Uh, please fix my ship, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> I fucked it up. I picked a fight with a giant fish, and it murdered me. Mm, I don't have any research parts. I didn't get any boards, right? The fish are biting a lot. Too well. Too well, one might say. <laughs> Uh, the, fi the fish are nibbling, chomping, biting, uh, gouging. The fish are having the time of their lives. <laughs> oh, you play this too? Hell yeah. I saw, I saw that this game has DLC. Uh, and now that I've, now that I've got a chance to play a little bit of the main story, I think I, I might want to grab the DLC as well. I've been super impressed with this. Alright, let's go talk to the old man about, uh, some explosives. Some big bada boom. I'll be upset if they don't label it DLC. Uh, I doubt that they did, but I think that is objectively a mistake not to. I heard you used to make explosives. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient or the most pleasant, but it got the job done. Been thinking about getting back into it. I might be able to rustle up something strong enough to clear those debris in the cliffs. But I'm not sure. I don't have the energy these days. Uh, I'd have a use for some explosives like that. Alright, I'll think on it some more, but I make no promises. Okay, you, you think on it, buddy. Think long and hard about it. Uh. All right. So here's my plan, Chet. We need to get into this cove. So I was thinking, we sneak around the back of the island and come in from one of these in inlets. 
That's what I'm thinking. Because we originally tried going straight through the island, and it's blocked off here. So let's see if we can actually get back there or not. Although we might need to... We might need to take a nap before we actually set out. It's the perfect plan. Unless it's also blocked off on that side of the cliff, in which case we're hecked, but I didn't think it was. Mm, yeah, it is 8 o'clock at night. Okay. We're just gonna skirt and burt back around over here. Dump this in storage. Take a fat little nap. We might, I might swing out wide of the island because last time that that fish just like popped out of a cove and attacked us. So I think we're going to give him some space. Oh, okay. Hello, orcas. Hello, killer whales. Are you saying the, the killer whales are too cute or the emote dark? I agree. I say yes to both. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that emote that Sketchy Jess made me came out so good. I can't even. Uh, whoa, what's going on over here? Why is it all windy and spooky looking? What's up with this? I don't know. Weird. Alright, well, it looks kind of clear for the moment. Looks kind of clear over here. I think I hear him coming. Yep, there he is. Dodge! Ah! Uh, metal scraps were lost overboard. That sucks. All right, well, we got the family crest. We got the family crest, let's get the hell out of here. I also wonder if there's a secret behind the waterfall. <laughs> Do we drive directly into the waterfall to find out? Um, I should read titles more often? No doors. But yeah, Sketchy, Sketchy Jess uh, is an incredibly talented artist. And I've always wanted her to make me an emote. But when she was doing... I met her like two or three years ago. And she was doing emote commissions for like Quicksand and like... Uh, Pika Johnny and Aga. But she was like busy at the time. And I always wanted to ask her. But she was always like so busy with commissions and work that I didn't end up doing it. And then she kind of... She went off Twitch for a little while, 
uh, and then came back, and now I'm like super happy that she's back doing commission work again. Alright, we're gonna sleep till dawn. It's so good. And like her channel has like a, a doodle redeem where you'll literally ask her like, oh, could you just draw like a quick like like minute, 30 second minute sketch of literally anything. And it always ends up being like insanely detailed artwork for like just a doodle. <laughs> Thank you, Tuka. Like Bebby had for the charity stream, Bebby was supposed to like wax his legs, but M, Emery like I don't know, put like the wax in the microwave for like 10 minutes on high or something and like literally melted his leg. <laughs> so I had her do like a doodle of that and it came out like so good. It was insane. Um, we're going to put that in storage. Oh, my leg! Yeah, that was actual... That was not Tuka screaming, that was actually the sound that Bebby made. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna fix my ship. No, I didn't mean to... No! No, I did not mean to do that. No, that's so bad. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. No, dude. There's no, bu so I, when you go to a merchant, if your cursor is over like a blank blank space and you hold X, You'll sell anything that you could to the merchant. Like, if you go to the fish person and you have fish, you just hold X. It just sells everything that's applicable in the inventory. I didn't realize that my cursor was hovering over my fishing rod. So I sold my best fishing rod for half the value of what the rod was that I bought it for. And I can't undo that in the shop. So I just, like, fucked myself. <laughs> I GameStop traded myself with a fishing rod. Uh, so... Yeah. We'll have to farm up some money to get that back. Uh, whoopsies. I don't know- see, I don't know the last time that the game saved. I'm not sure if it only saves when I close the game, because, like, there's a save and quit option. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna alt F4 and find out that I lost like six hours of progress or something. That's all right. We, it just means we gotta fish some more, which is the point of the game. Gelatinous stonefish. I will be, I will be sure from now on to be more careful in inventory screens. Because that was big dumb. Pretty sure I saw a loading icon as soon as you left the fish village. Okay. I've not been paying attention to it. I'm deeply fucked. That's fine. It's fine. See, we're, we're, we're already almost back to being able to buy it back. Dude, these 
fish are so massive. I think I have enough to buy it. Um, can I have my own fishing rod back, please, lady? Also, what's the difference? They're the exact same fishing rod. Okay. Let's go show this dude the family crest. I'm hoping how the quest is gonna work is we give the, fi the, fi the guy the family crest, he agrees to go back home, we take him home, and then the brother, the brothers make up, and then the brother agrees to start making explosives again. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, I can do that. I also- they also make it seem like they're so far away from each other. And they could literally throw a rock at each other. Mm. I believe this crest is yours. Uh. Gods, I haven't seen this since Humph. So he did take it. I knew it. Uh, your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? I don't know if I was in a right state when he left. Okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being. But I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you could do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathway through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seems particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Um, Head through the rocks to the southeast. Right. I think I saw those before. I mean, the thing that sucks about this is I'm probably going to get hit by that fish again. Good news, bad news. Good news, I didn't get bit by the sh by the fish. Bad news, I crashed into a rock wall to dodge him. Do I hear a bitch? There's a long fuse trailing up from the side. Light the fuse. The debris crumbles away. You should let the whaler know. Uh, yeah, you betcha, buddy. I really hope he can't fit in here. That's what she said. Uh, ooh, money. 
Alright, I want to see... Um... If there's a secret behind this waterfall or not. I gotta know. Oh, this is the greatest game ever made. It's the greatest game on Earth. Let's go, dude. I fucking knew it. Oh, I can't fish here. <laughs> oh, vindication. You literally cannot put a waterfall in a video game without having a secret behind it. It's illegal. Oh, we got refined metal and a giant fucking bag of money. Chat, we are we are eating good today. Now, can I make it out of here without this guy dunking on me? Probably not. Come on, baby. I really do not need any more of this. I think we actually have enough cloth. Like, more cloth than I would even know what to do with. Oh, we're gonna take a nap right here. We're gonna take a nap right here. I ain't risking anything with this cargo. Imagine a waterfall with a secret room, but there's also a secret to open it. That sounds like a Resident Evil game. Yeah, I think that was literally in Resident Evil 1. I swear. I, I swear Resident Evil 1 had that in it. <laughs> oh my god, are those- those are wooden boards, baby. All oh, their wooden boards. Gimme, 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 gimme. I have never played a video game where I've been more excited to see. That's a research part, not wood. Uh, but that's even better than wood. Never played a game where I was more excited in my life to see wood. Vindication. You know that lady that said to not go chasing waterfalls? She was crazy. Chase those waterfalls. I heard the blast from here. God's the echo. I'm surprised the cliff didn't come down. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. Nice. I have been relying on this merchant being here like so hard. If she just ever randomly leaves to go to a different location one day, I'm gonna be so sad. Listen to the rivers and the lakes you're used to, but we're in an ocean. Exactly. She wants to keep the waterfalls to herself. Um. Alright, let's see here. That's complete. This needs wood. So all I need is wood. Mm. I literally do not have enough money to fix my hole. Uh...
I'm kind of confused about what are the engine options here. Like, am I supposed to be picking one path and just going, like, super hard into it? Or is there actually a benefit to having, like, multiple different types of engines? I think, I think the jet drive engine is probably really powerful, but it only takes up a single slot. So I'm thinking, like, end game, you'll have both of these equipped, probably. I did. I did get the fancy rod back, thankfully. Thank goodness. Um... Alright, I think we're gonna go, we're gonna upgrade this next. So now we can buy a new type of rod. I need money. I need money so bad. What's with the geysers? I'm not sure. I think they're just gonna damage my ship if I run into them. I think they're just like environmental hazards. Ah. All right, your brother forgives you. He found a place to stay. <laughs> I'm packed and ready to go. Here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock waiting for him. Little brother, you're home. I'm so sorry. I was foolish. We both were. Come inside. Let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. Oh, stranger. If you find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yards anytime. Uh, can I have some explosives, please? Yeah, he put his entire house just in my boat. <laughs> um. Alright, let's catch some spooky fish and sell them. Whoa. A hollowed husk hosting a hostile dweller. The eyes inside begin their search for a safer vessel. Well, that's creepy. That's an extremely creepy description. enough money to fix my ship. Oh, what is the, um... Huh. 
Does she sell the new motor? So the new motor's 300 bucks. Okay. I think it might be time to go to Little Marrow. Go back to Little Marrow to sell all my trinkets. It's kind of starting to dig into my inventory space. If I remove this marker... Ah, if I remove the marker, there's no indication that this is where this dude even is. Um, that sucks. I guess I'll use the green flag for, like, current objectives and stuff. not fit a lot of these on my ship. <laughs> these are large fishies. Very large fishies. Yeah, it's just like a giant thick T-shape. <laughs> and it's like very, yeah, it makes for some very interesting storage management. Because it's like your ship, your st the storage on your ship is not like a rectangle. And there's very particular spots on your ship where you can put certain items. It makes for some very strange Tetris. It's kind of fun. It makes it makes storage more interesting. All right, so we got we finished reading our book. Ten percent increased sell prices and ten percent reduced buy prices. Ooh. That is very nice. Honestly, I just want enough space on my ship so that I can have that hydraulic hoist. Which I think we might actually have. So like if I... Right, let's sell this first. Alright, so that was worth quite a bit of money. Oh, I have enough wooden boards to finish all of this. So more cargo space for rods. Adds four new cargo spaces to the hull. Oh, okay. I have to get this. That's huge. So we'll save up for 300 bucks, I think. Go sell our trinkets. Mm. 
Okay, that was 300 bucks. Sheesh. Plus four cargo spaces, baby. Oh, I can also afford this. Oh. Well, I had more money than I thought. And I can afford this? Oh, we're cooking. All right, so the new haul is $800. Uh -huh. So we need two wooden boards and one more piece of refined metal. Nice. <sighs> uh, what's with the fog around here? Nobody knows. It's changed recently. It lingers in the morning now, where before it didn't seem to have the same strength. Even in the midday sun, I feel it. A malice concealed in shadows waiting for night to sweep the island. She glances up at the lighthouse. If this light should ever falter, then gods help us. Uh, what do you know about the mayor? That he's... I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engine sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. What can I do for you? Yeah. <laughs> 
What happened to the last fisherman? Uh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. A mayor had passed? So they have... This is... Uh... Big Marrow? And Little Marrow is like the island just like right across um, the way. The old mayor of Little Marrow went insane. He just like went crazy one day and just started throwing people's belongings into the ocean and then just like disappeared. So nobody knows what happened to him. There are 10 hours of dredge sound videos out there. Oh my God. I think I know what uh what we're gonna be falling asleep to tonight. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I just need a ridiculous amount of money. I'm not asking for much. I mean, I think we go back to Gale Cliffs and just start blowing stuff up, right? Like, we finished the explosives quest. So let's just go blow up a bunch of shit. do one I want to actually equip the the hydraulic hook over Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man. over my fire like the lava resistant hook because I'm not I'm not planning on going back to those islands for a little bit oh wait can I oh so that spot can either take a net or a, a fishing rod. That's cool. Okay. And the big engine probably costs 270. High quality components, excellent craftsmanship, a reliable engine trusted by seafarers. 26 knots. So if I... Um... Let me think about this. If I uninstall this... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me cook. Let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. If we do that... Then I can put this... Under it, so we could add an extra engine. Can I sell some of this stuff? I could sell it back. I'm kind of scamming myself, but I really want this engine. Ah. Alright, so let's buy this engine. That's literally not how you would attach an engine if you wanted it to work, but... We can attach the onboard motor upside down. <laughs> as long as it fits. Um, nice. Alright, cool. Our boat speed is up to 67 knots. Alright, she's been working on it all day, so we're going to take a nap.
Oh my god, this thing is cruising. We're going so fast. Holy shit. Three-headed cod. Three heads writhe and struggle in unison. Three mouths hang agape, uh, then close shut together. Three lives lived as one. One fate bound to many. seeing cod um oh this is so awkward I don't think there's any better way of doing this shit. We'll make it fit. Let's go, baby. I don't want to go back out and see if I can find that swordfish fishing spot that I drove past. Yeah. Can I catch this sucker? Really? Woo! Sailfish. Man, that thing is huge. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Sheesh. I really am curious. I'm curious to see what the largest fish in the game is. This is like all fish that barely fits on the boat. Oh, we got a new flag. Nice. Alright, I cannot fit any more of these fish. They have sunfish? Uh, I haven't seen any yet, but they might. Hmm. 
All right, let's go see if we can get some explosives from this dude. I don't know if it's gonna force us to like discover points of interest first. Or if he's just gonna give us a, a big old boom stick. It's the largest fish I can think of, yeah. I'm assuming they're not gonna let me catch the Leviathan <laughs> that I saw go by. Uh, here, this is on the house for all your help. Oh, let's go! Hollowed out whale teeth packed with a powdery substance. The fuse coils up from the top. I hope you can put them to good use whenever you find cause for it. Brother. Oh, he sells them. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're just, we're just gonna buy your whole stock of these, buddy. We'll start, okay, we'll start with three. We'll start with three, actually. I can at least think of three spots that need explosives. Refined metal. Yes. Wow, this is a very tough minigame. Wow. <laughs> that one was nuts. I like big boats and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't do that. Boom, baby! Okay, and this... Okay, so this shortcut... Are you kidding me? Brother, I bumped it. Um... <laughs> I'm pretty sure... That shortcut's gonna let us get around with the giant scary fish. Am I a joke to you? What?! Step one, get. Step two, good. <laughs> Want to see a tugboat? A yo. Simmer. <laughs> Bridge. I'm still in prison. Help, Adino. No. Um, Adino. Okay. Um, first, I don't know if you have a brother. You're gonna need a brother. You're gonna have your brother get a full body back tattoo of an of the map of the prison uh and then your brother's gonna commit a crime so that he ends up in the same prison as you and then he's gonna help you escape that's the plan <laughs> uh we'll get you out of prison uh, i did not steal the plot from prison break that was a completely original plan uh please fix my boat ma'am It's not your first rodeo, no. I break people out of prison all the time. Alright. I think we're gonna buy another set of Big Bada Boom. Tugboat equals thugboat. <laughs> the gangsters of the sea. I don't know why, Tuka, but thugboat... Thugboat reminded me of that one time we were playing DMZ. And it was like me, you, and Clink all got our own gunboats. Like, we were just driving them around like we were, like, the scariest people on Earth. But none of us even had people, like, in the gunner seat. It's like... Anyone could have killed us quite easily, but we were just, like, intimidating the shit out of everyone. That shit was so funny. Like, nobody wanted to fuck with us. 
Let's see here. So where else? Oh, right, right, right. I wanted to blow. I wanted to blow this up. Sapphire earrings. Ao. We got a relic that we can give to the collector. That's big. Who wants to get their boat rocked? Hey, yo. <laughs> I think Adino definitely was of the belief that there was a an innuendo going on, Ducky. Scandalous. I, <laughs> I think when Adino asked who wants a tugging, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think there was implied innuendo there. Alright, we're gonna take a little nap, ski poo. Do I take a nap? Nah, let's do some night fishing. Let's get some scary fishies. But then we got to bring this back to the collector. Black sea bass. Ooh. Is this a point and click style game? Um, not exactly. It's, uh... Well, I don't really know quite what to even call it. Um... Cozy with horror vibes fishing minigame where you do, like... Rant, like, Dead by Daylight generator starting minigames to catch fish. <laughs> but you just eventually, like, explore... It's like an exploration game. Exploration fishing cozy horror game uh where you fish get money get upgrades for your ship get better get better ship it's like pokemon it's pokemon horror cthulhu fishing minigame cabela's big or uh, not cabela's big game hunter uh did cabela make a fishing game it's like that cross with pokemon mind in the gutter Dredge was my game of the year for 2023, yeah. I mean, it's so good. You don't get out of the boat and move around? No, you're basically... You're basically the boat. You haven't played Pokemon? Adino. Adino, you need to do the opposite of touching grass. You need to stay inside and play more video games. Uh, shapes swirl inside the bulging, clouded eyes. Blinded by the light of the surface, but perfectly suited to searching the depths. <laughs> Get off the lawn! <laughs> All right, sell all fish. Boom. I'm gonna put the explosives in storage. I'm gonna put the earrings in storage. Um. Oh, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so you have the front of metal so we can upgrade the hull again. We just need two more pieces of wood and then we're cooking. 
Take a little nap, ski poo. And then we go talk to the collector. He's over there. Uh, getting the bigger engine feels so good. Because we are absolutely cooking. This, fit, this wreck is not another crab, is it? A rotted mast lays down on this island, half hidden by the foliage. At its base, an old boat is cracked in two. Look inside. Oh my god, that's so much loot. Hello? Yoink? Of course it doesn't have wood. The one thing that I actually need. But we will, we will take the research part. Thank you very much. Stop touching grass is the new get off my lawn. <laughs> we went from like boomer, boomer to zoomer saying back to boomer. Get off my lawn and stop touching grass. All right, here we go, baby. Yo, Callum, welcome back, what's good? We have become hopelessly addicted to a cozy fishing horror game. Um, all right, so move to cargo. I'm gonna sell that. And then we can research something. Ew, what do I research? Alright, I think I'm going to commit to the jet drive engine. Uh, we can give this guy a flag. not look like a horror game it's like uh oh god i can't even carry this uh i'm sorry fishy it's like atmospheric horror so it's not like jump scary horror but it's just like you're in like a quiet cozy like fishing town but there's kinds of like creepy shit happening in the background like there's something infecting the fish people are slowly going crazy so it kind of like creeps up on you. And I feel like as you get further into the game, like things are gonna get like more and more messed up. All right, we gotta go say hi to the collector. Of my local area, yeah. Something's slowly infecting the fish. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's go give this dude this item. So you returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You dragged the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Um, I legitimately don't remember. No, I did. I did. I did. I did. Yeah. Excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the crimson bound book, opening to some unseen page. 
Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly, as though thrown high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Now there are yet more relics to collect. Um, Keep looking. Wait, was that a teleport? The reef at Stellar Basin might have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around the area. Did that just say I can teleport black back to Blackstone Isle whenever I want? That's insane! Well, alright then. I was not expecting fast travel in a fishing minigame. Uh, it's only as of recent where the fishermen can actually sell the fish for eating. Oh no, we had a blue-green algae pandemic. Oh, Jesus. That's crazy. I feel like around where I'm at, it would have been from, like, somebody just, like, pouring lead in the water. It's like, yeah, sorry. Who could have foreseen that this would have been bad for you guys? Oh, we made it work. Let's go. Alright, um... I think I should just sell these fish. It's on the rise again. Shit's going back to how it was last year. Oh, fuck. I mean, what do you even do about algae? <laughs> I have no idea. It's like, all right, everybody, we have we have too much algae. We're going to have to just start eating it. I know it's poisonous, but uh, we just got to do it. People in the Santa Monica water come out <laughs> <laughs> they just go swimming and come back as like the Incredible Hulk. I give up on putting the crib together. Oh no. Uh, the lighthouse keeper is waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. I saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? What's the problem? It feels a bit like tempting fate, doesn't it? Things are bad enough around here without your provocations. Abruptly, she walks away, her eyes scanning the water as she walks along the dock. Oh, wow. We actually have a ton of money. Um, can I buy this new hull? I'm missing two wooden boards. Okay. Okay. They're gonna do a carpet bomb with chlorine, but that would kill the life in the water without doubt. Uh. I need my man's help. Yeah, make him, make him, make him build the crib. Like right, here you go, buddy. Um. All right. Well, I still have explosives. We got big bada boom. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to buy. I mean, I could buy the new line just to have it. But, not a priority. I mean... I guess we go back to Gale Cliffs one more time. Just to use up all the explosives, but I feel like we're almost done with that area. We've got to be almost done. I'd love to go to San Francisco once to see Alcatraz. That would actually be really cool.
I've never been to California. I've been planning on going once. I actually was, I started doing like, I've been really into Spartan races, which are like obstacle course racing. Um, and I was planning on going out to California and then Montana with Sacred to do some Spartan races and then COVID hit and then killed everything. Like, uh, lockdown basically just made it so that they couldn't do races for like a year plus. I'm going to keep touching these rocks. It keeps prompting us to touch the rocks and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I also can't remember if somebody wanted a gray eel or not. Is that anything like an Iron Man race? I'm trying to think. I feel like I've heard of Iron Man races before. It's So Spartan races are like, they have different levels to it, but like the Spartan sprints that I were doing is a three mile long course. So like you're running, but it's broken up by like 20 to 30 different like strength obstacles. So it could be like, I'm trying to think. Like, someone could be, like, literally, like, Atlas Stones. Like, you have to pick up this, like, heavy rock carry to set this position and place it down. But some of them are, like, you know, monkey bars or, like, A-frame ladders, cargo hoist. One of them's a rope climb. Uh, where you just have to climb, like, a rope that's not knotted and, like, touch a... Touch, like, a bell at the top. Um, so it's just, like, a bunch of... some. One of them's, like, a spear throw. It's just a bunch of, like totally random like strength and agility obstacles but they were fun I, I did enjoy doing them but they have like they call it like there's another one like tough mutter which is like a very similar type of a thing but they have like the sprint and then they have the super which is like i don't know eight miles or something and then they have like a death race or some shit that's like 24 hours of running I'm like, yep, not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say that like the the death race or like the the ultra the Spartan ultras are probably along the same lines as an Iron Man, but the the ones I was doing was not that intense. I think the Spartan race is where they make you run barefoot on Legos for 26 miles while you get maced. And then they give you habanero sauce to rinse off the maze. The towels are made of barbed wire. Yeah, they're not they're not that intense. <laughs> Alright, we gotta see if we can find some more spots to blow up. Um before we do that, I'm just gonna buy the rest of this dude's explosives. I'm gonna buy them out. Just so I have them. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta make sure I'm worn out a little bit before I rage. That's my secret of how I never get actually, like, super tilted or angry. I just run 40 miles before stream. Oh, he keeps replenishing explosives, actually. Hmm. So I'll stick to, I'll stick to three. Yeah, you know, nice, nice, nice wind down. Uh-oh. 
I think our anchor friend is back. Oh, our anchor friend is back. Run! Skirt! Oh, those, no, those are wooden boards, aren't they? Oh no, that's that cloth. I think it's cloth. Oh, we got a skirt and Bert, dude. Skirt! All right, I didn't see anything obvious to blow up over there. Is this dude still chasing me? Oh, wooden boards. That's huge. Oh, he's still chasing me. Oh, fuck. No! Skirt! Oh, he's still chasing me. <laughs> Dude, I just want these wooden boards. Please. Yeah, dude, at least we can go like a hundred miles an hour now. All right, we're going back for those wooden boards. David Goggins? Dude, I forgot about that. I forgot about David Goggins. I know he got... He was like being interviewed on like the Joe Rogan podcast back when I used to listen to it. And he was just talking about all the fucking crazy shit that he was doing. It was like, yeah, you know, I used to do just like... 700,000 pull-ups for fun. I remember in middle school I had an ab off with a friend doing the fucking fitness program test they made me do. We just kept going ab crunches for like an hour and 50 minutes and they kicked us out because we took too long. Now I can't see my toes when I look down, yeah. I remember being able to do like the craziest shit when I was like you know, 60 to 80 pounds. <laughs> like, I remember being able to do, like, pull-ups like it was nothing. Dude, come on, man. Ow! No! I drove into the fucking buoy. I drove into the buoy. What a piece of shit. Oh, worth. I actually haven't found anything else to blow up with explosives. He ran a hundred mile relay race on his own? Oh my god. <laughs> Just handed the baton off to himself. Just tags yourself in. Oh shit, Adino, you're gonna be doing a... Uh, Adino stream with some stilt fella tonight? Let's fucking go. You love to see it. All right, we went, we were committing to the, the jet engine drive. I gotta fix my boat. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna be wrapping up kinda soon. We've been we've been going for a while. I know my sister my sister's gonna be coming over in a little bit. We're gonna be heading up to Noggle and Daz's and then taking the train in for PAX East tomorrow. Um, okay. Please fix my boat. And then...
Upgrade your vessel to a tier three hull and adds nine new cargo spaces. Nine? Bruh, worth. Actually finally started to go through all of the cloth that I have. <laughs> Incredible. Look at our boat. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, y'all. I think uh, I think we're gonna shut her down for today. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun stream. Like we're kind of we're all over the place. Uh, started off with some marble racing. Played some <laughs> only up style marble racing. We did some pogo stuck. Uh, and I'm really glad we actually decided to play some dredge. Because this game is a gem. This is uh, definitely one that got overlooked by me. Uh, I'm glad that I, I picked it up. 